Ah, I should be much energy. Time for a bit of bit more Zelda. Lots of stuff. So I think I'll check out the ranch and spent a lot of time in that smoothie shop. All right. I think I think that I will. All right, we're up. Auto saved on here. That's funny. Honest to goodness, might want to go and see if more of those river horses respawned in that chest. I want to see what it takes to actually get them to respawn, get that chest to respawn. Because you need 17 of every ingredient to, in theory, obtain every possible potion result. Because it's not as if every time you get a failure potion, you get... It doesn't show off the fail potion option for every single one. You know, ev every single combination has its own separate tag for whether the result is going to be shown or not, so... Oh, please. Come on. Behind you, and if we... Keep moving behind. Ensure that it hits Brock. There we go. Oh, come on. Thank you. Hello! How's your mouse, Tenchi? How are you doing? Just grabbing a couple more seahorses, because why not? Yep. Thank you. That's five more river horses. Because, like I was saying, you need 17 in total of every ingredient to craft every combination because you can combine them with themselves each ingredient with itself and there are 16 ingredients in total so that's one crafting with every other than one crafting with itself well i'm happy to help glad to be of assistance hmm. so let's see anything new nothing new there anything with Okay, so it's combining the salt with the thing with a nectar probably wouldn't do anything good either. Hmm. Let's see if we can get any new recipes. These are all of the... Must have been one thing that we saw before, right? Let me see. I can check my ingredients here. No, no, no. I've still only found eight of the ingredients. But if there are Ten collectibles of this sort, and we've only found the monster stones. Is the question of what else is going to show up. Okay. And that's unfortunate, too. Hmm. Monster horn is crafted with a couple of things, then. So with the salt and the nectar, let's actually see what come from the nectar. Also, I honestly want to check real quick if the Deku Bavas can eat some of the fly type enemies. Or if I can make that happen on purpose. Yep, and it's garbage. Undrinkable garbage. Nice. Okay. So. That's all. So I believe the flies were around. Around here? Maybe. I think down here, actually. So I know that the. Biodeku Bobbies can eat the fly enemies, but I don't think I can summon them on land, and I'm wondering about whether the small ones can eat them, or just the big ones. Let's... There's our Biodeku Baba. Okay, and they can spawn in on land. And, yep, they just straight up eat them. That's fun. Oh, and then they get released. Interesting. Yeah, small enemies. It's really small flying enemies, it seems, can... Chomp. Get chomped by these Deku Babas. That's fun. We could have di to digest them. Okay, but you don't get any drops that way. Let's see if the little one can do it too. It might be too big. Yeah, yeah. Can't eat it. The fly's too big for this one. We spawn in the level 2 Deku Baba. Yep, that gets eaten really easily. It's got a real big mouth. 
Okay. Yeah, but you don't get any drops that way. Hmm. Interesting. So they've crafted horses with all of these options, including themselves. That would be... Have just enough to craft all the other recipes when we get all the other ingredients in. I don't really think I need more anyway. Got a number of potions and smoothies that give swim speed up effects. So I suppose then I'll just go around the ranch area. That's cool. Hmm. Ranch seems to be here. And this would be Kakariko. Castle Town's right there, but. On one hand, I do kind of want to avoid the castle for now. On the other, there's a good chance I'd be able to get a slightly better bed than the old bed I currently have. And therefore get some slightly faster health restoration. Regeneration. Yeah, we'll see. Come on. Couple of moblins over here. I think the sword moblin could do a good job of this. Most likely. Question is, what's in that chest? Come on. Ooh, you're getting beaten up. That's the real meta. That's the real meta. Bed upgrades. Oh, goodness. Come on. We're gonna keep going. Luckily, the shield is really nice at just bouncing them, but it does prevent some level of attacking. Hmm. So it attacks pretty much on wake up. So actually, continuing to summon might be the better option. Oh, we took a hit. It's not fun. Hmm. Take one more hit before... Hmm. Come on, come on. The issue is these spear mobs get away quicker than I might like. Okay, that worked. It's one more over here. There you are, there you are. You're kind of annoying to see. Keep on screaming. There we go. So we can see what's inside this chest now. Hmm. It's gonna be a new ingredient or one we've seen already? This is. Okay, more milk. Ten containers of milk, so it's literally all the milk we really needed. That means we got 20 in total, which is enough to check out all the recipes. So I guess if I really wanted to make smoothies for the sake of making smoothies, I could try to get more, especially since this is going to be a farming spot. Because there's nectar. There's nectar in these crates. At least sometimes. Hmm. Interesting. Let's actually just put down the bed and rest real quick. The, re the review I saw, I only wrote, I saw trailers and a little bit of a review. It said that the inability to really organize your echoes, because the interface was basically taken directly from the fuse interface from Tears of the Kingdom, really does hurt things. Well, to be fair, that's also, therefore, the weapon interface from Breath of the Wild, which was basically repurposes the fuse selection interface from Tears of the Kingdom. I want to see what's in this meadow. Because in the original Link to the Past, there was a... Oh, come on. Let's lure the rope over here, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The original Link to the Past, which the map of Echoes of Wisdom is based on Link to the Past map. Be fair, so his own between worlds is map, so they share that. So that box me actually. Hmm. It's not crazy, but it is something I'll need to erase. For the sake of unimpeded movement. But both of those games were ultimate these games were based on the map of Link to the Past, ultimately. Which is a really, really nice game too. Played that many years ago on Wii Virtual Console. So being able to block helps with that rope snake. Hmm. Oh, there's just a piece of heart sitting here. Fair enough. Oh, there's another pea hat here. So that would be a way to take out a pea hat. Well, to get a pea hat if we hadn't gone to that cave in Southern Forest. Yeah, so there are multiple ways to take a pea hat down. That makes sense. So let's lighten this thing up. Oh, come on. 
Sprout it's a plant, so very vulnerable to fire. And that damage over time will keep ticking down, even if we don't hit you again. Should take you out. Not too much trouble. Hi. Yep, entirely on its own. Thank you. And that's death. That should be a fourth piece of heart, and therefore a heart container. Capacity upgrade. That'll be good to have. Especially since I don't believe that you can actually upgrade a defense value in this one. And there we are. Another heart container. You have four pieces of heart, your maximum number of hearts has increased, and they've been filled. And the maximum based on Wink was 20. Hmm. If this... <sighs> Clearly, I'm going to be able to dig here eventually. Gotta remember to come back here. There's some places that are very plainly going to be... ...related to Echoes I don't have access to yet. The other one was... There's a tree over here with a similar patch of light earth underneath that... There's gotta be something there. There's no way there isn't anything there. Hmm. Go up towards the ranch now. That said, I think the best way to do things might be... ...exploring the entirety of a map... ...tile when it fills out. Well, you can't really call these tiles because they're irregularly shaped. But I think that would be the best way to keep track of where I've been without having to do a bunch of weird finagling with putting pins down like I do in Genshin. Oh well. Go ahead. So what is this crow doing? Okay, so that one dies. So actually what I should do is hold it down to the ground. Once it comes out and dies. Yep. Just hold you there while our echoes hit you. Easy enough. There we go. This is... When the Gwei Echo. Soaring implicably above Hyrule Field, this winged monster dives to attack prey with its sharp beak. That could be a nice aerial option, actually. Hmm. We're getting a lot of echoes. I wonder if there'll be some sort of announcement when I actually get them all just to tell me that I've actually gotten them all. So I know. I'm sure that there's some sort of minor reward for it, at least. Oh, come on. Okay, I can fit through there. Bit of a squeeze, though. Hmm. By the way, it seems there's another Gwei over there. Yeah, okay. Cool. Come on, get down here, and well. Ah. Tell me that was a little tough, so we'll keep you there. Have our boy cut at you. There we are. Okay. Now, beware of Wolfos. Ah. Wolfos. If I whiffed that rock up, bet that's gonna be a cave in there. Before that happens, I. Oh, okay. That seems notable. And I. We cannot grab those, they resist our power. Okay. Come on. Oh? Oh, and when they get hit, they glom onto me and transform. Okay. So it's not something we can take out from distance at all. I... Way would be interesting, but honestly... If it's keys we're trying to take out, just send keys. Send the keys at the keys. But it seems that the dark keys are a bit stronger, which makes sense. Oh, come on. Uh, uh, really? As long as we keep summoning, eventually we should win. Got infinite resources, so. Oh, okay. Don't like that. Can I. Keep you still, at least. Mm, it's tough. Keep you still so you can get cut off. Oh, we get particles, so I suppose they're basically intended to be fought using sword fighter mode. So if we summon a bunch of keys and keep one of the keys still... Oh, come on. I, really? Please. 
It's tough to actually get with the binds. Because it's a straight projectile with no homing. There we go. So now we can keep it in place. That's good. Let's stay still. For a dive. Yep. Okay, come on. And there we are. That's good done and dusted. I could just drink some kind of potion. It's the weakest one in healing gonna be. All of them restore a lot, which isn't a bad thing, but I'm just looking for health restoration. I guess we'll drink the milky smoothie. Okay. And another one. Okay. Wonder if they'll just keep coming. That is certainly possible. Really? Really? <laughs> oh, but it's stopping them vertically, too. Okay. So what is this going to be? Oh, it's the exact same kind of encounter. Okay. Come on. Come on. Let's summon a few more. Make this happen. Okay. Cool. That's good. And... Stop you. Oh, and I see a Wolfos. That's exciting. Hmm. You see me, or... Aww. By the way, if I could summon that Wolfos, that'd be real nice. I... Oh, oh, what? Oh my goodness. That's not good. Hmm. Salted. You can always make more. Okay. So to keep the wolf of still, but I wonder how long they'll be able to do that for. Can immobilize an enemy. Wow, well, we're summoned to take it down. We're in the wolfos echo. This wolf-like creature is the bane of travelers, circling, um, circling ominously around the Sophia in confusion. Okay, but it does seem like the rift will infinitely spawn enemies until it's cleared out. That makes sense. Okay, okay, cut. Here we are. Any more? Eventually, probably. Maybe. Maybe it was just two of those blobs. Okay. Well, I... Okay, okay. So it makes a little sound effect when another one's coming out. And that was going to be another one coming out. So since they only drop energy, not even rupees, there is really no reason for me to fight them. Come on. Okay, simple enough. Here we go. But yeah, as long as it's just one single enemy, you can immobilize them with bind and more or less neutralize their threat. Also, I guess I'm not immediately going to the ranch. Okay. I guess we could circle around this. Big thing is I do want to go into whatever is under that rock real quickly. So I imagine that there is a cave or something under that single boulder. It might just be ore, but still. Hmm. Other way. Check that out. It, there are a few pleasures more tactile and kinetic than just chopping down grass and Zelda. Okay, so it was just a mock crystal. Still though. Okay. Oh, we got seven. Oh, the rock just disappears. Hmm. Well, nothing to do but keep going. I think that going to the ranch might get me a horse, which would be a good way to move faster. And also, it can... I believe damage enemies through charging. Oh, it seems that the grass is actually starting to regrow now. It's fun. I wonder if it occupies the same sort of cue system for respawning as enemies seem to. Right? Because in earlier Zelda games, and A Link to the Past, which this one was based on, Enemies would just respawn anytime you left the screen. 
But there isn't a screen system in this one. They're not instance like that, so they need to figure out some other way to respawn enemies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe they could just wait for a daily reset. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Another way. Okay. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Shop you done. Or we could have ways fight each other. Maybe. Eh. But, having to use all the tools at my disposal is always a nice feeling. There's the most out of you. I wonder if there are going to be wallet upgrades, honestly. What's going to determine my holding capacity? Hmm. A ranch does seem to be there in some kind of pond? Maybe. Hmm. Let's keep on looking. Another Zelda wanted poster, and a. Another teleport waypoint. Oh, and a stamp. Nice. Cool. There we go. Waypoint recorded. Oh, that's the guy who we helped out with a shortcut. There is another stamp. Last reward we got from stamp rally stuff was just fresh milk. Hyrule Ranch ahead. So I do kind of wonder what the next reward is going to be, and if it'll be more ingredients or something else. Hmm. Not walking on anything, so these are just regular bushes. Okay. Thank you. Take you down. Simple Zol. There are rocks over there, and I wonder what that is going to be. Zoomly moving them around will find me something eventually. But, there are a lot of things, but very few true limits, though to be fair, that was mostly true of A Link to the Past, too. Just explore the world and find a lot of stuff that really like the Ice Rod. Which was, it wasn't even optional, it was mandatory to beat all the dungeons, but it was in a random cave in Lake Hylia. But, no real notation or indication that it would work that way. So we've been here. Okay. I mean, it's by the fact that some of that grass is actually still cut. So maybe it's a proximity thing. Get far away enough and they start responding. But I... would like a horse. That would be nice. Bet they can jump higher, too. Oh, we can, we can jump up on that. I wonder, can I burn this? No, you can't burn the hay bells. Lucky them. Mm -hmm. The scourge I represent, the danger, is mitigated. Temporarily. So what are you going to say? That's more nectar. Nice. Use the crate to break the crate. Had you not opened the road, I'd never reach Hyrule Ranch. Now that I'm here, I can ride the horses and fill my belly up with fresh milk. Mm. It's his deal. Mm. Must be some stuff here, and... This ore... Yep, it's another my crystal. So they're just around. Kind of like Korok seeds, I suppose. It's the eighth crystal. Cool. Hmm... What else is around this way? This is... Kind of where I know, because... This is basically the lower bound of... The map and a length of the pass. This is where you'd go into the desert. Yeah... Kakariko. We more or less expanded this... Square is basically the extent of the original Link to the Past map. Expanded it in a few directions. Okay, let's actually check out the ranch. Got a horse in there. Could be a horse echo or actual horse. Oh, we got a cow. Hyrule Ranch. We've all been real sad since one of our horses went missing. We can go talk to my grandpa about it. He's the wrinkly guy over there. So presumably if we rescue the horse, we can claim it. 
That's sad. Um, got a little bit of Epona's song and music here. No. Oh well. One of our horses went missing, we all over, but we just couldn't find her. Sad. Where could she be? Okay, so horse quest. This is... You won't find fresher fresh milk than ours? Come on inside if you'd like to buy some. I really don't. Your bed echo. Check that. Music box? Oh no, it's her music box, did you? It plays real pretty music, let me tell you. It's a prize for flag races. The flag races are a little contest we hold here at the ranch. You tried some time, you'll need to bring your own horse, though. So we'll need to rescue that horse. Okay. Oh, I'll get some nectar and... Let's actually see. They won't attack the Kuko of their own accord. Hmm. What if I threw a pot at the Kuko? If I made a Kuko angry at this one, what would happen? Customer kind of interested in some milk from her happy Harvard and cows. I'll buy some. Okay, and that's just milk. Okay, no thanks. Let's chat. Our milk is special stuff. You won't find anything like it anywhere else in our household. We drink it with every meal and we're all fit as fiddles. Let's just toss some pots or rocks at the cuckoos and see what happens. Will they eventually get mad and swarm me? Hmm. They've got to, right? It's in every Zelda game. Oh, there we are. Yeah, I don't need to be subjected to that. We got our answer. We talk to the dog? No. Talk to the cow? Yes. No. Will the horse neigh? Oh, we can ride. Someone entrusted that mare to us. We're not wounding her out. Oh, well, next to a horse, press A to mount the horse and use L to move. Tilt L opposite from the direction in which you're moving to stop. It's not with B at any time. Hmm. That's simple enough. Ah, we need to bring our own horse. Ride that one. I guess we could take a horse from here to ride it temporarily. wonder whose mare that is. That white horse. Maybe Link, actually. Either way, let's find that horse and get her own. Oh, welcome to Hyrule Ranch. I'm afraid we're not winning up now, so at the moment we're a bit distraught. See, one of our horses went and ran off. Hardly out of the usual for her to gallop out west. What's odd is she hasn't come back. The whole family went looking, but we didn't find her. If you see her horse, I don't suppose you might bring her back here. Runaway horse. Hyrule Ranch is missing a horse. You were asked to bring her back. No, apparently she normally gallops around west of the ranch. Normally. Okay, but... That'll mark location to bring her back to, but not where she is. Without spoon feeding us that much. That's good, actually. So if we try to keep moving, suppose she'll stop us at the gates. Yep, exactly. Well, hold on. Yep. Not wanting any out because the horses run off. Okay. Definitely want to try that. Horse race mini game. Once we have a horse of our own, it'll be interesting. So I suppose we'll keep looking west to see if we can get our hands on the horse. Presumably. Now I get some nectar from this. Got an apple. That's far more than we need. A little nectar. Hmm. So we need about eight more, three more, so eight total. We want to check out all those recipes, and we do. It does make me wonder, I've already got half of the ingredients already. I wonder what the other options are. It's nothing I've found is exclusive to an area, maybe the butter. It doesn't do any damage. <laughs> you can't use it as a method of attack. <laughs> this is literally just movement tech. So you can get around faster. This has, again, got to be something we dig up. Maybe, maybe. I do feel like marking these. Kinda. Just in case. 
Okay, just checking. Okay, so the horse is just here. The horse is here. And... Oh, that's right, we can just... What if we drop the horse in water? Oh, that was cool. Hmm. So to pull the horse out... We could just use a bad bridge. That's probably how I'm meant to do this. We can't ride... No, we can't ride the horse to take it out. That's simple. Yeah. What are you gonna do about it? Cry. So... Okay, so it can mount a little. The best way would honestly be to just... Pick it up. Just drag it out. And then ride it the rest of the way. Come on, horse. And... We're gonna take you back to the ranch. That was faster than expected. Then we can just jump this. Yep, we can just jump the fence. And that was fast. Oh well, your horse is back. Say, that's our horse. Soon to be mine. She's finally back home where she belongs. I can't thank you enough. Who'd have thought it? The poor girl ending up in a place like that. She and I are both in your debt. Tell you what, Sprout, you ever need a seat, I'll lend him to you free of charge. Horses are great for getting places quickly. You can go ahead and settle up on whichever one you'd like. So maybe we could try some of those races. You brought the missing horse back to the ranch as a reward. The ranch will lend up horses to you for free. You have to start from here, though. Pick any horse you like and head out. They could all use a little exercise. Someone entrust that mare to us. We're not letting her out. Again, I think it's probably Lynx. Sorry about that. You got your... your kick of any of our other fine horses. And these two are basically identical, identical it seems. Big thing is... A little hard to control. Hmm. But the jump is pretty reliable. Let's see if we can do that race mini yeah. game. Thanks for saving our horse. Would you like to teach you, me to teach you about how to ride horses? Teach me. When the horse is galloping, they'll jump over low obstacles and changes in elevation. And try doing that with the fences here. Go and give it a shot. And you... Oh. Find her to your horse, thank you so much. Wait, so... Could we try... The race minigame now? Had you not opened the road, I never reached Hobble Ranch. Okay, so nothing new there. Right, we go... Start from inside, I believe. Do you have anything to say? Okay, that's what he says. So let's... Check out the music box. Now that the horses are here. Oh, no, sir, Music Box Studio. Plays real pretty music. Let me tell you, it's a prize for a flag race. It's a flag race. It's a little contest. We'll be at the ranch. You should try them sometime. Maybe to bring your own horse, though. So how? How am I actually going to get one of those started? Has the horse actually stayed here? Interesting. Guess we could... Move around a little and they're actually a little tough to control. You have to be rather gradual. Hmm. So can we talk to the kid now? So he does not start a flag race. If I... Hmm, that doesn't change anything. Welcome to Hyrule Ranch, if you for fresh milk, just nip inside and speak to my grandmother. Well, we can't bring the horse inside, so... How do we start the race? Okay, enjoy your cat. Can't go inside. How are the races going to start? We talk to you while a horse? No, that doesn't say anything new. Huh. Well, alright. Guess we can... Keep on moving. Well, I like cutting grass. <laughs> so, the horse might actually not be as useful. I'm just spinning the whole way. What I would prefer is some kind of spinning speed upgrade. But at least we should be able to do the races eventually. Let's put down a marker here to indicate that I have unfinished business. But the marker limit is actually rather strict. Hmm. I don't like that. Let's keep on moving. Oh, a tectite. 
That's interesting. I... Interesting. The R, the R shoulder button on my controller is actually getting a little weaker. It's all that souls. Got a tektite. And... Or the tektite echo. Resembling a pond skater in action, this creature hops across the surface of water, jumping higher every third hop. Okay. Let's drag you over here, then. Let me get chopped up. Okay. Cool. So... We will... Make the job of our moblin friend easier. Still actually doing little... Leg attacks. <laughs> okay. Come on. So simple. Thank you. Yeah, back here. Come on. But of course, there are all these crags over here too. And that little cave we saw as well. I wonder if there was going to be a level 2 tectite or something. I bet. But of course, there's also that cave to go into, so let's do that too. Alright. Mm -hmm. So it's just some moblins and... It's got a golden sword. I wonder what difference that might make. If any. Alright. Cool. Come on. Slash. Slash. There we are. That's one of them. Just gotta get a monster thing. Movement is slower than I don't like. This is... Okay, another my door. Three my crystals, actually. Nice. Should be enough for another. Come on. Should be enough for an upgrade now. Not like I really use. Not for much, but still. Let's rest up a little. Then maybe use that tank tight. Yeah, because. The idea was probably throw down the meat to distract the moblins after crawling up top, but it wasn't necessary. There's a lot less resistance than there used to be on the R trigger. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Reverse bond. Take me up. Cool. And there's the meat. For those who care. Hmm. But of course... Ah, you can actually feed it to the mob one. They'll get distracted too. So maybe we need to find and put down the enemy that does not eat the meat. Or we can allow them to eat the meat too. What is funny is that this is a mechanic from the very first Zelda that never came back. So putting down meat to bait enemies. Or sometimes to feed enemies is a bribe to have them let you pass. Some dungeons. Do I hear a Gwei? Maybe. Other Gwei. Let's keep on moving and... Just, I wouldn't say passive rupee income, but it's easy rupees. Oh, well there's a... An arrow pointing to presumably a might or yeah, cool. And you got a my crystal. Now we're at twelve. But of course you'll find everything eventually if you just cut down every singular piece of grass, like I do. Hmm, okay, another piece of heart up there. That would probably work. Combined with a crawl to uh, Okay. Cool. Stay away from the glay. And get that rupee. Come on. Where are you? Get down here. Go ahead, swoop. And we'll keep you still. Got more sword strikes. There we go. I ah, and it disappeared. Sad. So we will. 
keep you still, drag you over for execution, basically. Hmm. Shield is nice to have, but do you get the sense that its offensive output is a little constrained to compensate. So interestingly enough, it doesn't look like Bind will interact with non-targeted enemies. Okay, well... I wonder if we'll be able to actually manipulate and rotate enemies that are bound eventually. Seems like a very logical idea for an upgrade. Come on. Let's drag this pufferfish out. Or not. I cannot get them in. I... Piranhas. Piranhas will do it. Okay. Oh, nice! Both those fish are just gone now. That's when the tingle will echo. When you're always spherical and always scowling, this angry fish charges directly at any foe it sees, and it's basically just a worse piranha. Okay. Fair enough. Let's put a few more piranhas down. It is nice that the Octorox can go underwater. It's not a capability that was really shown before. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, please. Is there multiple? That helps. Come on. Come on. I... Go ahead, get the anglerfish. Hmm, but they seem to be have trouble being ha having trouble targeting it. That worked. Any rupees, or... Main thing is... We get you, we can drag you off. Piranhas can get you. Cool. Alright. But for all that talk about pursuing prey relentlessly, they are... really bad about actually attacking. Oh, that... We even got hit by that rock. Not paying attention. Come on. There we go. Gone now. So let's put a bed down and get that crawl till it started. Thank you. Get up top. Now we can crawl to it. Thanks. Another piece of hard right here and drag me up. Thank you. I... What? Never mind. Okay. Hopefully this will do it. Yep, there we are. We did a little late, so we're actually a little under it. Though, it, graphically, it was... It did not really show that. As far as I can tell. So... Let us continue. Hmm... Cool, cool, cool. I wonder if I could do an individual trigger replacement on the controller. If not, honestly, it might be time to just get a new controller. I wouldn't hate that. It was very shortly after I got this, which was Bitdo SM30 Pro, I believe. They came out with an upgraded version pretty much immediately, which was funny, but still. So it legitimately might be time to just upgrade it. Mm -mm. Oh, come on. Keep on pursuing. Attack. Thank you. Oh, right. If we just grab the spear mob and bind. Yeah, that helps a lot. Oh, not like that. Thank you. Keep it close. Here we are. It... I wonder how much of that white sand is eventually going to be diggable. Hmm. I feel like it is a viable avenue to pursue. Maybe. Either way, let's drop you off. Get you again. Come on. Attack. Attack. There we are. Cool. 
Hmm. So it's in that chest, and that is another monster thing. Thank you. Let's check what's in here. Anything newer? Uh, just, okay, electro apples. Which we have more than enough of already. And I guess that just represents a warm patch of ground. Hmm. Let me go up here. Oh, and this, this was in sloped areas and went to the past map too. Okay. Keep on looking. I think down there. Go up here, we can find some other kind of enemy. And another teleport point. Which gets rid of all my summons. Waypoint recorded, thank you. Anything here or. I guess not. Let me move onward to my destination. Thank you, thank you. Hmm. There are all these little quasi walls that I could easily go up using that crotula. But other than that, than the obstacle nature, the obstacular nature, I would not imagine that there really is anything worth getting there. And boy, rupees are dropping from grass now, which. We already have more rupees than I could really know what to do with. I guess they don't imagine that most people would really be cutting down grass, given that the spin is really meant to be more of a dodge anyway. Using it as just constant grass chopping is definitely not the intended method. I might not be able to bind it. No, you can. You just have to hit the hand. That takes a bit of luck to do. There we are. So what are you going to do or say? Man on the ledge. Let's get our crawl to it going. Thank you. And there you are. I did not mean to do that. And... Oh, he's still cowering, so presumably we need to eliminate every single one. Maybe? Maybe. Might have been the closeness of that individual... That should catch you. Okay. Come on. Closest to the crawl to it there. Might need to find another way, like, by just putting down beds. That's fair. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. What are you doing? There we go. It would be funny if there was a friendly fire option in the game. I feel like that could honestly improve things. That could be a cool mechanic for hero mode to have, just making it so that you would have to actively stay out of the way of your summons. But that does not seem to be how this is working. I think I'll put down these old beds so I can talk to this guy who was probably afraid of those moldorms. Hey, hi, and hello, acorn gathering. Give it a go. Fun to snag and fun to bag. Gathering acorns is never a drag. Oh, he looks like an acorn. That's funny. All you gotta do is pick up the acorns that I scatter about. The fast will even get a prize. And one try for 20 rupees. What do you say? In a minute. Come on back if you change your mind. Before I do that, I'd like to see what's under some of these rocks, maybe. I bet that it's sort of a bind puzzle, where it's a matter of moving the rocks around to get underneath as quickly as you can. I wonder if there might be a mite ore somewhere in here. I do have enough, well, mite crystals. I do have enough mite crystals to actually upgrade the sword ones, which... Would really just be for cosmetics and completion because I am not using the overpowered sword fighter mode at all here. Except for destroying obstacles that it's needed to destroy. And given that there is a bomb option, I think there's a strong possibility that it is needed to break some breakable rocks. Unless I get an automaton or something that can do the job. Let's just try this minigame. I'll try it. That'll be 10 rupees, please. Hooray, right, time to gather. And how many are there? Hmm. What do we get on top of that? 
Protoas are an option. They're a bit slow, so just binding is definitely the way. Pick up 16 acorns. The goal time is 1 minute and 0 seconds. Let's get as many as we can. One. Bad. Let's keep hopping across. That, not like that. Alright, okay. Good order. That did kind of work. Just run around the tanning wall. And there we are. Hmm. How many are there in total? Here is the question. I not like that. I moved it. Good. Crawl is coming. Eventually. Come on. I not like that. I think we can do this. It's definitely very manageable. We'll cut it a little close, but that's not horrible. Send the crawl toy down and go up the wall and Oh good god! That's the problem. If the mini moldrum is there, they're gonna target it. But I think we've just barely made it and there we go, finished. Cool. Ooh, minigame complete. Good stuff. Nice work, you got all the acorns. Your time is 56.36 seconds. You were amazing, alright, then it's prize time. Okay, just a red rupee. You get 20 rupees, excellent. If you can do it faster, we'll give you even more prizes, so come try again sometime. Zip me again and play some more. Hey, Han, whoa, acorn gathering, give it a go. Fun snack, fun bag gathering, acorns never a drag, yada yada. You got a prize, one try. Okay, so let's target on this time. Time to gather. And... Figure out how... Oh, I'm doing a minigame. That's all. It's as quickly as possible. So actually bypassing the rocks by... Using the crawl tool to just go through is probably the best option. Acorns... Mm -hmm. Yeah! It's all about rooting, I would say. Routing. However you want to pronounce that. I... Right, right. Keep spinning, keep spinning, keep spinning. Over there, over there. Thank you. And gotta use the crawl tool to get up top. Cool. We've respawned. I wonder what the fastest you could theoretically do this would be. There we are. Round again. I'm up top. There we are. So now we just pull one of these out. I, ah, dang it. Crawl was there and I didn't want it to be. Okay. So how much time do we have? We get this with 40... Under 50 seconds. Maybe it's under 45. I feel like a piece of heart should come from here. Nice work, you got all the acorns. And your time is 45 seconds. 45.12 seconds. You're amazing. All right, that's prize time. And another red rupee. Faster. I bet I can manage this if... Under 45 with basically perfect play. Or maybe... Sword fighter form, just to... Jump a bit higher and avoid having to use the bed, maybe? Oh, we're getting a few more rupees every time. So... This isn't horrible. Let's get under 45 and see what happens. Okay. And... I, not like that. Oh, we're already screwed. Damn. But it... Hmm. Let's still get it under a minute. Should be good, but... Definitely want to use Sword Fighter form just for movement purposes here. Okay. Get up top. Thank you. And... Go down. Over here. We dismiss you. Take you down and... Not like, not like that. Good god. I... So finicky and... Okay, we did still get it under 45. Hope that's something new. Oh. Whoa. You got all the acorns. Your time is under 45 seconds. You were amazing on my press on it. So I guess it's just red rupees. Hmm. I... Wonder if that's all that's here. I feel as if there's got to be something. That... Let's you get a piece of heart from this. 
it it's the kind of minigame that would give you a piece of heart in any other Zelda game. A little, yeah. Especially since I did push myself a bit. Check up on this top wall. See what's here, if anything. And answer is nothing. It's over to the desert. So, we'll keep moving around. So what else might be here? There's a rock. I bet that's my door. Okay. Well, that was bad territory anyway. Swift and... Yep. My crystal. Got a my crystal, and now we got... 13. That's where Death Mountain is going to start. Might need some kind of... Anti-heat... Clothing or potion. Eventually. So... We will continue up this way. So there's to find. But I got a bit of oh, some electro apples from those monsters. From their chest. Chest that we're guarding. Hmm. I suppose we can go around Kakariko for now. Basically the foot of Death Mountain. In the original Link to the Past, there was no overworld Death Mountain. There was well. There was, there wasn't. There was Mount Hebra, which in the English version was translated as Death Mountain. But it's a bit of a misnomer. In the Japanese version, that same mountain was Mount Hebra, and they reused that term for a location in a single stage in Four Swords Adventures, as well as a region in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. So, this... Patch of dirt seems conspicuous. I wonder if they'll ever give me a shovel or something like it. Either way, anytime there's anything suspicious, it's the kind of thing you check. I wonder if there are more mini games in the village. It's definitely the kind of thing you'd get there. Mm -hmm. So we haven't unlocked the horse race yet. Somehow. Horses back. Maybe we need to reload the area to get that to happen. Maybe it's a story progress thing. Maybe. By the way, to get in the cave there, it seems. We'll need to climb up. Okay. That's fine. Here are mole dorms. We'll climb up here. I. Oh, goodness. Here we go. Reverse bind. Get these rocks out of the way. There's a big rock over there. Move this one a bit. Or not, maybe. I wonder what is supposed to be here then. Hmm. Kinda shifted around. Kinda. Let's just grab it and pull it out of here. Wonder what might be underneath. We'll see. Find some way to make myself a bit of a staircase, it seems. Okay. Well, not like that. Let's move this one out of the way so it doesn't interfere. And there we go. I need to find a way to straight up more or less. It's stuck very plainly. And I would imagine that it's going to be some benefit to clearing that out. Let's go in this cave at least. See what's there. Okay, well. It's hmm. curious. Oh, I bet. Have to dig your way in through that hole there to drop down onto the piece of heart. And then you can just pull the rocks out. Doesn't seem like it's really going to be possible with what I have at the moment. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Take me up. This. Hmm. 
Come on, Moldorm. We'll just let her mob one drop you up. There we are. I. Oh no. Oh no. Please. There we are. From behind. Hope it doesn't try to grab me. And there we are. We managed to grab that one too. Chop. Chop. And chop. I. Given how notable the ability to dig would be for finding things, it would not surprise me if it was one of those echoes that is limited to dungeons. I have to go through some dungeons in order to find. Because the spindle or whatever it was called, the spider that could let down. The string you could climb on, that was limited to that dungeon. Seemingly. Hmm. Well, we've gone around the village. There's also a group of rocks in here. Check that out, too. Number of things, a number of tech tides I took out, and then I guess I'll hit up the village. There really is a question of how will I eventually be meant to dig? It's definitely setting off my alarm bells of place where you use an ability, but there's only so much that I can tell you. It's sort of pitting up a number of teleport points for later use, I suppose. This is around where those tectites were. Got another one. Oh. Cool. Oh, I not you, not you. Let's grab you there, keep you still Ah, oh, we found it. Well, it's too close to us. That was annoying. Suppose it's time to hop back in bed. All these rocks here. It was an area we went around rather than through. Hmm. Six hearts is nice. Do you have one piece of heart sitting? As we get in the village to the teleport point, I do think I should try to get an upgrade from the upgrade store for sword fighter form, because even though I won't be using it, I definitely would like to be able to send bombs down. Cannot imagine that would not be incredibly useful. Oh, that hit me too. Dumb. I gotcha. Does seem like they may have respawned. So I'll sit. I wonder what my highest cost echo is right now. I can cast. Other than that mob one. Hmm. Still just the Kaponga flower, it seems. Okay. Have I really been in here yet? This group of rocks is... What I'm relying on is my sign of where I've been and where I haven't. Hmm. One more heart needed. Thank you. Gwaze right there. Couple more tech rides. Okay. Good thing is it can't get me. We weren't too close. And we catch us still, and... Uh, Still need to avoid the tech tie. Okay, kill the Gwen. There we are, and we can focus on the tech tie now. Come on. Please, please. Chop. There we go. And we can also use that mob, what is a shield, albeit a purely directional one. So we can't rotate it around ourselves while we're bonding it. Mm -mm. Another one. Okay. Come on. And the Gwaze here too, of course. Oh, Hanjime Mosh Tenshi, Alice Parkour. How are you doing? Thank you for the follow. We're just playing Zelda. We didn't want the Goma, we wanted. Didn't mean to switch that. That's good. So what's up? 
Anything you want to chat about? Welcome. That me? Get rid of you. Oh, oh, the, the cursor was on screen. It's not what I wanted. How many more Gwains and how many more? Down here. Let's take you down and drop you and then bond you again. Let her mob and do the work for us. Thank you. Hmm. So. Take you down, bond again, and. That tech deck is definitely just. Actually, isn't jumping at me. Okay. Oh my goodness. Doing okay. I am exploring the world a bit out of order because that's how I like to do things. I'm trying to see where it'll let me go before I actually progress the story one. It's trying to send me either to a water area or a desert area right now, but I want to see how strong I can get and what summons I can pick up before I progress the story one, and therefore to see. Oh, I might be able to steamroll things. It's going alright. If you have any interest in selling anything to me, I regret to inform you that I'm not buying right now. But it's been fun. It, I don't have a passion for getting ganged up on by monsters. That's why I try to fight them one-on-one -on -one as much as possible. It just isn't always possible. Okay... There we go. That's another one of you. Drag it into a mob one. And... Move out of the way. Thank you. Drag it back over. See how long that rupee is going to stay before it expires. As in... Running away and having your strong friend do the job for you? Not really. I'm just unpopular. I already told you that I'm not buying anything. I don't care if you're ESL. You should be able to pay attention. Okay. So... Pull you down. Grab this. Drop you up. Thank you, thank you. And... Mm -mm. Yeah, they're not even watching. They're just in chat shitting things up. That's hilarious. <laughs> so. Let's go over and... Over here. Thank you. Cool. Coming up top. Nope, not there. Oh! Well, in that case, yeah, it's having your strong friend do the job for you. So, it's a mic crystal. Now we're at 14. Good enough. Just gotta get up top. Italian WWE commentators. That's an interesting niche. Is that your dream career? Making Italian commenta commentaries for... American Pro Wrestling. It's not a bad way. If you can make it work. Anything up top here? Probably not. Let's just check. Okay. Hmm. Keep on checking. It's another spot up top. We already got this Zool. That's fair. It is what it is. Come on, come on. And before we could even manage the bond correctly, while well, you stayed still. I mean, it died. Okay. Come on. Drag you down, drop you. Grab you again. Cool. And there you are. Let's use the crawl toy again. Let's see what's in that treasure chest. The answer is. Moment of truth. Oh, another monster stone. No, really? What are those actually going to be used for? I have multiple. And no use case yet. So 
Conqueror goes right there. Some kind of monster here. Just, I hope they give me a dig option. Okay, so that's just a Wolfos again. That's fine. So we'll bond the Wolfos. Keep it still. Can't do much, can you? It's still trying to be in circle around mode, but since it can't move, it can't actually circle. That is... Honestly, a bit sad. For them, not me. Oh, but what's interesting is that... I think this little sort of labyrinth was also in Link to the Past, but... Didn't originally have a way to get on walls, so... We're start going around instead of being able to climb up and around it. Hmm. Interesting. So we'll go into the village, but there's actually a bit more around, but... Oh, that's right. Wouldn't the Lost Woods be over here anyway? Yeah. Or... Kakuryogo moved a little. So the geography's changed a bit, but... I guess you could chalk that up to seismic activity. Come on. Uh, oh, and... Wait, we had you hovering in the air. I'm stupid. Come on, Gwei. Not that they can jump so high, I suppose. Oh, whatever. Hmm. Put the bed back down. Let's take a rest. This is... A bit above where I was before. Saw a little bit of this dried up pond. I think that might be what it is. Let's sit. Come on. Come on. But I really, really wish they gave you more pins. The limit of 30 is rather low. But honestly, it might be that way to encourage you to actually progress the storyline. Because if you're always running out of pins, it basically gives you motivation to stop finding new things until you can find a way to clear the old stuff. Maybe. Alright. Frankly, I doubt that was their thought process. I doubt it was something they honestly put all that much thought into. Come on, come on. Thank you. And, oh, that's another teleport point. Okay. Just want to light on the other side of the ranch. Seems superfluous. Well, better too many than too few, I suppose. Oh well. So they attack pretty much on summon, which is nice. Cool. Thanks. Yep. So that could be a good way to... Keep the damage up. Keep respawning them so they continue attacking. When I get into the next serious fight, that might be my method. Maybe. Let's continue resummoning the sword mob on level 2. That's it. Pace attacking keeps up. It seems to me, based on what I saw before, that with the Gaponga flower and the big pollen cannonballs it shot, that there is a bit of a cooldown so that you cannot simply keep summoning forever to just attack more rapidly. Cockroach Village and Harrow Castle, Castle, to an extent. There were some limitations. You know, within reason. Though. Okay. So. Seems to be another presumably diggable spot here. Maybe. I... That's so round. I'm not even sure I could always find spots like this by just looking at the actual map. The soft white earth is not something that'll really get marked unless I mark it myself. And the mob one was holding down the fort in my absence. How loyal. I would want to reward him by giving him some meat, but I can't actually have both the meat and him summon at the same time. Cost is too high. <laughs> okay. 
Got the snake. Summon you again. Get the Zol. It's a sort of. Is there any sentience to the echoes? That's my real question. There's one immediately over here already. Okay, this is actually really gratuitous. Why is there a teleport point right over there? Whatever. Maybe because there's a dungeon here eventually or something. Either way. Let's mark that rift. Oh, goodness. It's actually a lot of them. Hmm. I... It really is... weird. Hmm. Hmm. Some riffs. Some other riffs. But these ones are just still around. It's seemingly independent of any dungeon, maybe? Maybe they're connected to the Gerudo one. But I wouldn't count on it. Hello, Snakey Snake. Let's mark this real quick. Just for the sake of it. For the snake of it. Come on. Walk with the shield and attack with the sword. Cool. Oh, come on. Chop. Chop. To be fair, summoning weaker ones might actually be better for dealing with Zoles. Because any attack is still going to put it in shield stuff, no matter how weak. But any attack is also going to take out a Zol. They have just one HP. Been around here. More or less. But I really do wonder. Could I find some other way to mark map spots? Yeah, there, there's no Hyrule interactive map. There's no way to really just say, okay, I'm going to mark this without really marking it, quote-unquote. Mark it outside the game. Hmm. I guess I could always just doodle on a picture I take of the map or something, but I don't know. It'd be really funny if none of that was relevant to anything, that none of those conspicuously square patches of Earth were diggable or anything. And I'd been wasting this... Wasting my time this whole time. Come on. Come on. We'll wait till you swoop. Or... Find a way to pull you over to a more accessible spot for... Oh, come on. I did not mean to do that. Okay, we'll keep you still and you can pop down, maybe? I... Ah, please. Stupid. Oh, my goodness. This is bad news. We need a bed. Okay. Rest up. Now you're coming over here. I... Oops. Bed's broken, too. Well, take the Gwei out, at least. A couple more hits, and... You don't see anything, which means... Time for fun. Cool. I keep it trapped. With a wall between us. Thank you. Okay, let's rest up a bit. All my potions are just too big for me to really want to use them on a situation like this. This... I feel like this would have to be Lost Woods, but... Kakariko itself seems to be a different location. Oh, this might actually be old Kakariko or something. Maybe. I could see that. But it doesn't entirely geographically line up with previous versions of this version of Hyrule. That is to say, went to the past. Either way, that's a checkout castle town. See how much of it is consumed by rifts now. Hmm. 
Sleepy Zelda. Okay. Go through here. Pop down a bed or something. <laughs> oh, come on. And we got you. Will this hit? That will hit, but seemingly only when it's in sort of flight mode, trying to get higher. That's but its body is a bit more vertical. The geometry really does matter here in a way that it did not before. And just a red ruby. Okay. Hmm. Mark a little bit more. There is another rift too. Hello, get the snake from behind. Yeah, you can't manually make them attack, but it is fun that they do cut grass. Okay. Alright, alright. Slash. Good. Hmm. Honestly, there are automatons somewhere. There's an automaton shop. And there's a non-zero chance that digging capabilities are tied to an automaton. You could easily see that being the case. Honestly, I feel like sh I should go to Kakariko now just because... If I keep going around the actual world, I am very quickly going to run out of pins. I do not want that to happen. Oh, another one of those armadillos. That's fine. Found one of those in Southern Forest, too. Yep, it would keep you still. They get your movement, which is your strongest capability. I hear a piano. No, it's just a bunch of those guys. Oh, hello there. Another rift. Don't like that. We'll keep our distance and go to Kakariko instead after this cave. It is kind of interesting that when you spin through grass to chop a rupee, you don't automatically collect it. It's easy to spin through and just avoid the thing. Oh, that's definitely a bottomless pit. That ah, seems to be an echo. This thing I might be able to stop somehow. Let's see. Put this here. Yep, it's no longer rolling, which means... Oh, we can learn it straight up. Ah, you're in the spiked roller echo. Oh, it's longer, but we don't see it because we're inside view. A large log with many knobbly bits sticking out of it rolls downhill until something stops it. Can't push it either. Can I burn this with an Ignazel? Yep, you can. This could make a flaming roller. Without a hill, that does not do much. Interesting idea, though. I think... Strandle is gonna be useful here. I'd imagine. Holy crap, it's Donkey Kong. Now, this is... kinda like Donkey Kong. So, oh, there is a piece of heart up there. So we have to either drop down somehow or find a way to dig in. Hmm. Given that sand, it's gotta be something digging related, but what exactly? I don't know. Let's fall through or go across, it will break the bed and then go across. Okay, but we can manage that jump too. Or we could bind it and use it to push the others. And they'll break each other, too. Nice. Because one is a shield against the next one in sequence. Or we can hurt ourselves. Okay. Oops. I did not mean to do that. Come on. Oh! Ouch. Let's rest. That won't break that bed. Sit for a bit and make our own roller. Or I could just drag the other one over, but it's going to be more fun to make our own, honestly. That avoids the risk of taking damage myself by being stupid. Letting myself get hit. I love all these caves, just round higher. Oh, that's four costs. Okay. Makes sense. The only five cross ones I've found have all been in they're on wetlands. Okay. Let's make that roller. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to start using the notebook instead. Scrolling all the way through is quickly becoming unworkable. There we are. Got nectar and opens the door. You can get whatever's in that chest. Thank you. Bottomless pit, because of course. Old bed. Bed, we can just barely fit through that. And that's a a golden egg. This item can be used to recover hearts, but is more effective when mixed into a drink. Ah, okay, so that's another kind of ingredient. Rear egg with a golden gleam. When used in a drink, it may greatly boost the effect of other ingredients. Greatly boost. So it's basically better nectar. Okay. Ah, now I see. By the way, there is that piece of heart in there. I bet if we dig down there. So it might be those small holes. Maybe. Oh, and they, they just start moving. They just move. Oh, but they break easily. And also, they don't actually deal all that much damage. Seem to really be more suited for area denial. Yeah, that Spear Mob one isn't all that strong, but it still took a lot of punishment from that roller. Which I suppose says that the roller it does not actually deal out a lot of punishment, but who's counting? Me, I'm counting. What can I buy in the village? What am I gonna get when I go in the village? Do a lot of rupees. Another stamp. I'd imagine that there should be at least one quest in there. Hmm. Hello, and oh, a business group. Oh, a smoothie shop. Hey there, welcome to the smoothie shop. What can I do you for? Golden eggs are great. Great for eating, great for selling, and greatly difficult to come by. Still, I'm sure a golden egg smoothie would be world changing. Oh, before you go, my siblings are running smoothie shops in other places too. We're sending ingredients from local regions to the main shop back home. If you run into any of my siblings, give them my best, okay? There we go. So we found the main branch already. Before, which is definitely not what usually happens. So, a fang and salt. I cannot imagine that would be anything good, but we gotta check. So I wonder what I could try combining the golden egg with. So I'm gonna do everything eventually, but I'm wondering if there's any, there would be anything that would be useful to try to use right now. Thank you. So this with... <sighs> Golden Egg and Nectar. I wonder what that would do. As both of those just boost things, so I'm wondering what that would do on its own. Maybe it's actually crap? Your smoothie and... This is a golden smoothie. The golden egg gives this mixed smoothie an explosive umami kick. So, that's just a full heal. That makes sense. Okay. Hmm. Well, nothing to do but actually go in the village now, I suppose. We least in hopes of finding a way to clear out some of these markers. That is, yes, Kakariko. Which is basically Japanese onomatopoeia for the sounds chickens make. It's basically just chicken village. Which is funny. Either way, my right shoulder button is actually starting to act up. So it might be time to try to figure out another fix, or maybe just get another controller entirely and have this one as a spare or maybe player two something eventually hmm. can't really unhighlight this all that well thank you okay let's do this and that's the one we marked so cut that grass there is a child here Oh well. Where are your parents? You should be with your parents. Perhaps reach off this stone. Nothing. Okay. Hello? Yeah. Woo. Look, I'm blowing hard enough to make that windmill spin. That's cute. 
throw away wholesome NPC dialogue. And no Kuko Echo, it seems. Broken Gravestone. And okay, so that goes to Death Mountain, presumably. So this is very Ocarina in that the gateway to Death Mountain is Kakariko Village. Hmm. Chicken up there. Cat. Oh. No. Another Gwei. Not my problem right now. Actually, did want to kind of poke around the edges here first. So I guess we'll take out that Gwei just to ensure I don't have to do it later. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, there we are. Keep chopping. Should be a teleport point in the village, I would imagine. Presumably. Oh, and another acorn guy. That is interesting. What does this mean? Oh, and yep, that is definitely the Lost Woods. And if you try to go in that way, it seems that the mist will just kick you out. That makes sense. Hello there. Hi, hey, hi, and hello, acorn gathering. Give it a go. Find a stack, find a bag, gathering acorns, ever dragon. So there are multiple. All I gotta do is pick up the acorns that I scatter yeah. about. If you're faster, I can get a prize. One try for 10 rupees, what do you say? Be 10 rupees, please. Okay. Great, time to gather. How many and where? Well, that's okay. So basically, you avoid the gway. Eleven acorns, 40 seconds, good luck. Hmm. Okay, so. Stay on top of this tree somehow. Getting up here, more or less. Wanna stop? I'm gonna keep going. Oh! Okay. So, some limits terrain wise. And, oh! That was dumb. Well, let's try to not die here. Dying mid acorn challenge would be unfortunate. But, gotta use the crawl tool here, it seems. I. Oh, okay, well. Stupid, stupid. I. Guess I gotta kill it. Come on. I. Failing because the stupid Gwei is. The worst feeling in the world. And. Horrible. Legitimately horrible. I. That's the wrong way, too. What in the. God damn it. Really unpleasant. Okay. I put that there and just to get across, but it's so finicky sometimes. Oh, whatever. Stupid. So we should use beds. Just use beds. It's working all the acorns. Your time was over time. Not too bad. You didn't hit gold time. Well, you can always try again. Come visit me again and play some more. Okay, cool. Whatever. Uh, let's try this. I wonder if they keep track of how many I've done, because is it the same guy, or are these his brothers? How does this work? Okay. Cool. Cool. Gotta figure out rooting here. I... Getting up top there would be good. Let's jump between the trees. Figure out how to get on top here and then. What in the... Three damage? Huh? What? That was stupid. Stupid bird. I hate you so much. That stupid bird that I hate. Okay. Come on. Let's do this then. One more go with it. As long as I don't get hit, this shouldn't be a huge problem. At least death is cheap. I'm not losing money by dying. Okay. Come on, Gwei. But I don't have a good Gwei to kill them. That's what's annoying. And I... What? Four? Okay, that's kind of crazy. 
Okay, and how do I drop this down? Here we are, dodge, dodge, dodge. There we go, okay. That was simple enough. Okay. And nice and quick, nice work you got all the acorns. If your time is 25 seconds, 5.29 seconds, you're amazing already then it's prize time in. It's... So way to do this faster. What What is the time target they imagine here? What do they see as reasonable? Well, at least we're by Copper Rico. Revenge. Okay. It might just be a matter of the point of it is to get rupees quickly and easily. But with using something like Sword Fighter, maybe just movement abilities, maybe some kind of speed upgrade of a sort, probably get the time even lower. Maybe just a high jump to just... Maybe the ability to just pull the acorns down. Get a bond that works like a fine tooth comb on smaller things. I don't know. I don't know. Well... Go in the village now. That's all done, Dusty. Not as cleanly as I would have liked, but... Beggars can't be choosers. Wanted Zelda. We all want Zelda. Here's our stamp. Hmm. How many do we have now? Okay, we need two more to get. The next stamp card out of five. Here's our teleport. Let's actually go back and do an upgrade then. Hello. Here's Kakariko. Another smoothie shop. And yep, right by Wooberry's house. Let's go and make this sword that I never use slightly stronger. Thank you. Go inside and get started. Thank you. Something, what should I do? Yeah, go to the ribs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What do you want to enhance? Let's enhance the sword and see if it looks any different. Well, it looks like this. It's a bit lopsided and... Link's version was not when we had it at the start of the game. You take 10 microsis from you, okay? Sure thing, leave it to me. And put it in. Gonna look different. And... Yep, now it's got both sides to it. There we are. Sword of Might is now level 2. What do you want to enhance? We can't do anything right now. Oh, but it doesn't look like we can actually enhance the sword at all right now. Enhance my sword. I can't enhance it any further right now. Come back after I do more research. Uh, okay. So that's plot connected. Enhan an enhanced sword capable of fighting other monsters of the rest. Yep, and you can see the sword is different. Okay. Cool. So. That's done. Let's go to the village and see. I got any mini games or something for me. You know that Dompe the Grave Digger, who was originally from Ocarina of Time, is apparently the guy who makes the automatons. That might be rift connected. I might have to close a rift before that becomes a possibility for me, but we'll see. Some kind of general store seems to be here. Oh well. Just about any town you need to go to, you'll find a shop with its own unique goods. When I go to a new place, I always make a point of hitting up the local shop. Cute. Here we are. And this is... The climbing band, where to climb ladders and rock walls faster. And we got the one. Rips and a purple potion. Welcome, welcome. Need any assistance? I'd like to chat. Did you hear Princess Zelda is a fugitive from justice? Isn't that horrible? No idea what she did, but it must have been awful. Some soldiers came by and said Princess Zelda had done awful things. Could it be true? Did she create the rips? Well, that's actually going to take most of our rupees, but we'll take it. 
A leather band that protects your wrist, where to climb ladders and rock walls faster. Fair enough. Got a climbing band. This leather band protects your wrist, helping climb ladders and rock walls faster. But we like the spyglass for now. Thank you. So. Let's. What is in here? Can we pull that off? Yep! Yep. Nice. Can we use that to jump up top? Yeah, we can. It's gonna be something in the well, which is. Kakariko Well being relevant is very accurate in town, too. Hey, welcome to Kakariko Village. Maybe don't go to the slumber dojo on the west side. Guy, there's a little shady. Hmm. Well, now let's check. Use this cover to jump inside and. Okay, bottom of the well. So many bottoms of the wells. And. Just grapes. Okay. Only three. We already have way more than we need. <clears throat> So, Plumbing Band might actually be useful for Goron stuff, but... Whoa, Wink. Oh, Mr. Harris for Wink. Oh, sorry, you're not Wink. I got confused since your hood looks like his. Yo. Oh. Oh, and they have grapevines to explain why they sell the grapes. It's cute. Slumber Dojo. Come back. Oh, probably getting chickens. Oh, zzz, wink, wait for me. Ah. Whoa, Wink, welcome. Oh, sorry, that hood looks just like Link's. He's the young man who saved my children, so about Link. Whoa, well, quite the tale, he's gone missing. That young man once saved my kids from getting caught in a rift. And he used to drop by the village to weed out monsters. In short, he's been a huge help to all of us here. I hate to think of anything bad happening to him. Whoever he is, I just hope he's okay. Ah. Look, I hope he's alright for a while. If you happen to run into Link, tell him his friends you miss him. <laughs> hmm. Sad. <laughs> Oh, Nectar. We should have basically enough. Almost. Slumber Dojo. Be able to get some better sword stuff here. Again, not really a problem. Talk, I'm a regular here. You got comments for the way you sleep. Sometimes they even give you stuff. Love it here. Even my friends think this place is kind of fishy. Check that sword. They'll talk to you first. Oh, you knew a recruit. When answer yet, first put on your listening ears. You were in the Slumber Dojo, the only dojo where you train via your dreams. Now I know training doesn't sound like a spiritual journey or whatever, but it's real simple. So I show you a dream, an astounding dream based on your life. Then within that dream, you defeat all the foes trying to get you. That's the whole training. Each training session is a goal time. Be that goal, and I'll have a special reward for you. This part is, since this is all in your dreams, you wake up without a scratch every time. But hold on. Join up now, and all your training sessions are free of charge. You're thinking, where do I sign? There's even more. If you keep at your training, there will be an astounding reward as proof of your skill. Hoo hoo hoo, so he tired him. Turn himself out of it and gets time for him to sleep too. Alright, are you ready to do some training or ready to do some training? I'll pass. Oh well, we're always open for all your slumber needs. And what is this sword? Oh, curious about that katana. Never mind that right now, come listen to what I have to say. It's probably gonna be the reward. Katana mode or something. Explain that again, yeah. The slumber dojo, only same as before. Just repeating that spiel. Okay, cool. You've been talking about free offer. Let's try this minigame. I am ready. Oh, you will? Then you are now an official student of the Slumber Dojo. Let's get you training right away. Here's a menu of dream options. Start with no echoes and no items allowed. Defeat your enemies using only what's available in the dream. Blank slate battle. Take on this training. Your training begins now. Hoi. Guess we gotta learn some echoes first. Close your eyes and you'll... Feel your energy flowing within you. Ah, uh, ha. For your training, all you have is your rod. Experience an inventory of the sealed off, so be ready. Your goal time is 60 seconds. Begin. Oh, um, if we can't learn, really dropping is going to be the best way to take them out. You have rocks, but. Actually, it's a learn. Rock echo. The rock echo. Cool. Pick this up and take the keys out. Maybe. Just keep on dropping them. Oh well. Oh well. Hmm. Maybe if you put you in the fire. It could work. Come on. Alright. Toss. And. Or not. Ah. Slam. And. There we are. Now we just have to. 
rip the head. And that's it. More scuff than I would have liked, but it worked. Yeah. Open your eyes. Yeah. Done in 39.01 seconds. Look at a split. You're even faster than the goal time. It was a great slumber. Let me give you a reward. And that's just Electro Apples. You got five Electro Apples. Yeah. And speed like that makes you quite the power napper. Performance like that deserves a special reward. And okay, Nectar. There's a four on Nectar. If you pass your training, so one more time, I'll have an astounding reward for you. Hi. Regular, yeah, okay. Whoa. The slumber's path lies long before you. Could you do some training aim for higher types of unconsciousness? Oh, oh so it's... <sighs> I think the joke here is basically... It's sort of the reverse of enlightenment in that... The word Budo literally just means the awake one, more or less. Defeat all the foes, permit dealer's revenge. So basically we're getting unenlightenment by being put to sleep. Your energy yeah. form within you? Yeah. What do we have here? For this running after a while on your skills alone, you won't be able to use drinks or items that restore your hearts. Goal time is 1.10. Begin. I... P-Hat might actually be the best option here. Maybe. Eh. Probably Sword Moblin. And that takes him down. Okay, cool. Alright. Uh, you're getting crushed. Well, alright. Chop. Might not actually have enough time. Oh, but... Maybe two Dark Nuts might do the job, because they're immune to blunt attacks. Hopefully not have to deal with Hitstone. Yeah, they're... gonna tank all that and just put down the Dark Nuts. And we lost. Let's try that again. Dark Nuts, uh, bad news. You didn't succeed this time. Don't give up, though. You can try again any time. Okay. Let's do it. Swordfighter would... Make it trivial. But that's cheap. Yeah. We're Zelda. We're not weak. We're Zelda. Yeah. To solve problems like Zelda. Okay. Okay. Uh, not the bed. Dark Knight. Oh, because it doesn't save what we put down last, presumably. Okay. Cool. So, let's get going. I. Right. Oh, but they're having trouble hitting me. Okay. Cool. Cool. Mm -hmm. And we're just not... We don't have the DPS for this right now. It's not a question of... Any of that. But if I got one more tri-triangle, I could put down level 3 Dark Nut and presumably just obliterate it. And what do you know? That's the final pin. Ooh. I bet that katan is a component needed for the highest level sword upgrade or something like that. It would make sense. It might be Sheikah. Since it is Kakariko, which was Sheikah associated in older Zelda games and... The Sheikah and Breath of the Wild onwards were very... Well, actually, kind of Skyward Sword a bit. Very Japanese-associated. Come back. Bok Bok, please come back. Hey, you could lend me a hand. For some reason, my dear sweet Kukos decided to escape over the fence this morning. They're running away from me, the little rambles, and we were getting along so well. Man, you get a hold of my Kukos. Can you put them back in this pen? There five Kukos total. Please, I need your help. Kukos on the loose. A woman in Kakariko Village is worried about her precious Kukos, which have escaped their pen. She's asked you to find all five of them and return them to the fenced area. So missing five, my darling Kukos, please bring my babies home. Sad. And, oh, pictures with her and her Kukos. That's cute, but sad. Luckily, we can bring them all back. I think. One Kuko. Mm, but you have to move a bit slowly. 
Ah, it's a little annoying. Let's grab them all, send them in. Thank you. Gonna be up here, or... What do you have to say? Soldiers, they said Princess Zelda is some kind of villain. Could that be true? Never before he'll heard an ill word against her. Okay. Head up, Kuko, and... So it doesn't actually do an auto-flight. Interesting. That... What am I going to get the ability to dig? Another Kuko, and... Should be... One more Kuko somewhere, then. Question is where... Maybe on a rooftop, or somewhat occluded. I hope they don't reset when I move. If I go inside a house or something, you never know. Either way. Oh, okay, it's just on top of the window. So these are crawl to it and get on top of there and get it down. Not like that, not like that. There we go. Come on, you stupid, stupid bird. What in the- What? Huh? Oh, because the enemy made it change direction to focus on fighting instead. I- The Krotals are for climbing. You don't fight with them anyway. Why would they- Whatever. Stupid. Okay. Well, we'll take that cuckoo back. I really was hoping that I'd be able to get a dig ability before all that crap happened, but maybe this is where Dompe is. Seems like it's covering up a house. But I guess I could take a picture of all the pins I have right now and then erase them and just consult the pictures I've taken to see where I still need to go. That would be an incredibly scuffed way of doing things, but... If digging isn't going to be a possibility anytime soon, I can't think of what else I'm going to do. Oops. Okay. And once you get to pin, let me just take a picture of everything. Queen house. All right. Thank you, I- Oh, I guess you're having trouble placing yourself to the cat. Can't move that cat. Stupid, stupid way. Okay, can we actually just climb up the front of the windmill? Yeah, that worked. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Kraltola. It worked. Kinda. Stay away from the gwa- Oh, come on. Let's try that again. Stay away from the stupid bird. And... Whiffed. Final Kuko. Oh, and yep, we can glide with it. I wonder if that's going to mean being able to get a Kuko Echo to use for gliding later. Oh, and now that we pull off the cover, the cover's permanently off. And there we go. Thank goodness you brought all my dear sweet Kukos home. I'm so grateful. Please come this way. Gonna go inside, or? No, oh, still inside. Thank you. I'm so glad my Kukos are all back. As for why they ran away in the first place, I think the refreshing grapes I gave them for breakfast might have been too sour. My darlings can be rather picky eaters. Anyway, thank you, and here's a little reward for helping me and my little scamps. Oh, another fairy bottle! Ah, uh, nice! Mm. By the way, did you know, if you lift a cuckoo over your head and jump from a high place, you'll glide through the air, well... It being on the windmill is basically a way to organically show that. Really, I suppose you could do that with any winged creature. Who's on the loose? If you lift your cuckoo over your head and jump from a high place or glide through the air, well, I suppose you could do that with any winged creature. You returned all the runaway cuckoos to their pen. The woman seemed quite happy to be reunited with her rebellious fowl. Anything in here now? No, nothing new. Okay. Let's go in a few more of the houses. Hey, did you join the slumber dojo? The old man there always struck me as kind of shitty. Maybe I got him wrong. Well, well, 
A bunch of soldiers came by from Harwell Castle, said they were looking for a fugitive, but it was strange. They all seemed so upset. They don't want to go kill Zelda. Hi. I haven't seen you before. I take it you're from out of town. Everyone's talking about some crimes the princess did. I wouldn't know. Never met her. Oh. Our soldiers here the other day said it was the princess who made the rifts. I'm not buying it. Only seen her once, but she did, certainly didn't seem the villain this time. Everyone loves Zelda. And... What should I make tonight? I'll have to go by the shop if I want dessert. We'll break your pot. What's in this other house? Answer is... Little boy and... Oh, and bottle. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah. I'm sorry, my little brother. Would you please leave him alone? He was stolen away. And well, he's been like this ever since he returned. The doctor basically threw his hands up, but it will get better someday. I know he will. Yeah. Did you hear it? It's the princess who created the rifts. That's why they're tracking her down. I hope they catch her soon. I don't want more people to get stolen away. And we've got enough nectar. Period. Always forgetting all the recipes, which is kind of my primary motivation. But it does seem as if something to dig there. Careful, past your Zelvin volcano. It's absolutely packed with monsters. Much as I'd love to climb it, I don't want to contend with the dangers. It's not actually okay. It's not Death Mountain. It's Elven Volcano. It's interesting because that's what they called it in Skyward Sword. So I guess I'll take a picture of everything I've marked and get to erasing my marks. Okay. Oh, come on. Triggers keep getting depressed when I just set it down. Okay. Take a quick pick for archival purposes. Okay. Now I can freely get rid of that. It'd be nice if we could just remove all pins at once. It's too easy though. Remove, 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 and oh, you, I, you can't actually take that pin off, because normally you can't even put a pin on there, because it defaults to showing the pin marking the cave itself, and the only way you can put a pin directly on there is if you're inside, and Put it pin directly on Zelda's head. So that's weird and screwy. Okay. It's another dig spot there. I believe. Let's mark this one right here. Go and remove those and then hit up Elven Volcano, maybe. I kind of want to explore a bit more in the field first. I... I guess it would be funny if this pin was just unremovable. No, it's just that you can't remove them unless you're inside. Yeah, that's really finicky and weird. So summon fair on wetlands, but... They're in their own area. Can't just take a picture of all of them at once, so... That'll be its own business. Well, then I can't- I couldn't take a picture of that at the same time as I took a picture of Kakariko. Can't zoom up. Can zoom up decently far, but... To be able to really see distinctions on the map, you need to get a bit closer. Go back in the dojo. Get rid of that pin. But yeah, once I get... A fifth dot, it shouldn't be a problem. And that is exceptionally finicky. Go to Elden now. Or... Stuff around here. This little area. Outside the moat. I think I'll clear that out first. Uh, 
didn't mark those corners of that rift. Guess I'll mark that just so I have reference later. When I do a bit more removal. This one is a bit of a diamond. It's got to be blocking something of at least relative importance, I would imagine. So we'll go over here. Wonder how I'll get more of those golden eggs. Given that they're definitely rare. But I imagine that there's gonna be some enemy that drops them somehow. There's a P hat. Is this way? Is this light on fire? Okay. There we are. And you will just slowly but surely burn to death. Okay. Come on, come on. Picking up those rocks will presumably give me my crystals. A crystal. And yep, that is a third place to find a P hat. And yeah. What do you know? Okay. And that also restored a bit of my gauge again, not that I really need to use it. I don't. Cool. Chop. Chop. Mm -hmm. Around here. Mm -hmm. So this little recess, this pit, something I didn't hit up before. And did we for now? Partially under the impression that there'd be something I want to mark there that might be a bit annoying to have to mark while running low on pins. The pin economy. The economy of pins. Maybe the economy of pins is like the Internet of Things. That's a buzzword that got used a lot some years ago about. Basically having an Alexa in your house or something like that. Just everything being internet connected for some ungodly reason. Okay. So that Jeff Bezos could surveil you in perpetuity. Oh, another Ignazole is there. So that would be another place to get an Ignazole again if we missed it in the forest. Yep, they have the redundancies, so don't have to worry about missing anything permanently. But, got those Hydrozoles from Forest, and I wonder, can you do some kind of annihilation reaction? Yeah, they do put... One does put the other out. That's fun. Okay. I like that. Go and get that rupee. Whiffed you up and... By that other one, that's definitely a my crystal. Or we can just send you out. But the Ignazoles are actually a bit stronger than I would have expected. Come on. And we'll move you. Move you and use a bed to hop up top. And another my crystal. Yeah. If I use those, it would be really nice to get as many as we have. However, here's the moat. Mm. Grab a couple more rupees. Castletown shop should hopefully have something good, but again, I'm not going there at the moment. Because they go up and above my head. And it, in earlier Zelda games, when you would cut grass, you do it from outside of it, whereas the spin just cuts grass you move through. It's basically move away from the rupee. It's... gonna work. Oh, and my crystal's just there. That hard to reach spot. There we go. My crystal. And we're kind of stuck. Of course you can just use a table. What about since I used that table? Oh, or a trampoline. Yeah. It's been a while since I used the trampoline. So bed, bridge, and then trampolines would be a... Also, there's a natural barrier, so that's a good natural branching point. 
<laughs> we'll keep moving. Sword Mob level 2. Still my workhorse. Will presumably be for in the presumable future because I cannot use anything stronger. I have things that are stronger, they're just unusable. Okay. Come on, come on. I will oh, keep on cutting. Got that Zol. Magic Grass. Stroke. Too far away to hit it. Okay. Thanks. Chop. Still too far away. Huh. So that rope and... What is this little place? Be fun if I could go in. If it was a side optional dungeon or just a still world segment, still world segment, I could activate at my leisure. But it's plainly not the situation here. Okay. Hmm. At least some of those ruin-like areas are really successful to me as they are. So we'll keep mowing grass. Honestly, it... Zelda is really more of a lawn mowing simulator sometimes. At least it's pretty enjoyable as far as mowing lawns goes. Okay. Chop it up. There was a mud crystal there, and... Then we can take down this armadillo contingent. Hello! And... Keep you in place so you can't do any rolling or moving, and... That was simple enough. Okay. Cool. Drag you out here. Can't attack if you can't move. And there we go. Cool. And... Okay, there was a piece of heart here already that I crawled up on. That's right. Been around here. Been around. No, actually, there might not have been. Hey. Well, keep on killing armadillos until something interesting happens. You can also pull that chest out of the ground. What's this gonna be? This is a moblin blocking you for one. And that's got five rock potatoes. This item can be used for recovering hearts, but is more effective to mix it into a drink because that's a new ingredient. Potato with rock hard skin. When used in a drink, it grants the drinker a of wall climbing speed. Six more ingredients to find. Okay. Oh, there. I uh, keep you still. I wonder what enemy is going to spawn from that blob. Okay, so that piece of heart is right there, and... Alright. Well then, we'll drag you there. Yep, go ahead, keep your distance. Mobbin's actually good at staying at the absolute edge of its own range, which is actually really, really good. Oh, there. Go ahead. And that's... Okay, just two shadow zoles and shadow keys. And another one spawns in. And pretty much immediately. We'll stay away from that because that rift is just going to keep on spawning enemies. In perpetuity. Huh. So it seems. But we also have a piece of heart we can grab with a crawl toy. This will do that too. Thank you. Go up top. And another piece of heart. Thank you. Really is just a matter of... Okay, go climb the pillar. Hmm. I think I'll go to the Volcano and maybe the Lost Woods. Our exploration pace is actually real nice. Hmm. What lands... Desert's its own thing. Uh, Castletown, Lake Hylia. Jobble starts over here. Mount Heber's up there, and it's snowy, so I probably need a brazier. Sanctuary's there. 
Oh, Dog Bay's probably in the sanctuary. So I might actually like to be on there. Since there is a cemetery there and Dompe was a gravekeeper at least in earlier Zelda's. Maybe. Hi. Go ahead, try to eat me. Oop. And it's the same kind of enemies, basically. Okay. It is interesting that unlike previous Zeldas, well, previous 2D Zeldas, enemies have defined attack cycles. It's not just damage from contact. But I really wonder, this rift is that big. It must be concealing something of meaningful worth, I would imagine. Another acorn guy is there. I do wonder if there's going to be a higher tier of reward that I'm either just not getting or- Oh, they completely phase through. Completely phase through any kind of terrain. Well, any kind of terrain. Well, it- that wasn't horrible. So... More Zelda posters. Can't burn them down or anything. Kakariko Village, Northern Sanctuary, Hyrule Castle. Let's actually go to the Sanctuary. Another stupid Zelda poster. Okay. My Marblin. My lovely Marblin. Hmm. So, there is something there. You know that Salt Bay is insufferable, right? And I'm not just saying that because he's Turkish. Have fun, though. Hmm. So how will we enter the Lost Woods? And I wonder what the purpose of entering the Lost Woods is going to be. Salt Bay is insufferable as a person. He's actually a very bad cook. Is this all about presentation? Oh my... Oh no! I did not want to eat the carrots. Oh. You can borrow a horse at Hyrule Ranch to the south of Lansley. The carrots are on patch. They're as healthy as, it, as can be. Hmm. Let's go in this cave. Okay, fair. What is in... Some meat. Oh, so I guess this might be a way to get the meat echo if you miss it somehow. Because of nerve issues, or... That's sad. Toss, toss, and... Is this all that was in there? I guess this was just a place to get the meat. Huh. Oh, arthritis. It's not just pottery. Sometimes there are crates. Sometimes even monsters. Yeah, enjoy, your, enjoy your steak. Hmm. Said I've never heard of ass steak. Sounds a bit frightening. Okay. Oh, another smoothie shop. Oh well. Mr. Business Scrub. Hey there, welcome to the smoothie shop. Gold eggs are great, great breeding, great for selling, great way difficult to come by. Sure, sure gold makes smoothie, world well changing. Okay. Smoothie, please. Can test out the rock potatoes with some things. Sure. Moctito and Monster Fame. Pete. Pete. This and that. Mix it all up with Pincha. Alrighty. And probably unfortunate. Smoothie and... Oh, actually, it's... What? A climbing potion. Ladder icon. Drinking a subtly bitter potion. Helps you climb rock walls and ladders more quickly. Bitter. Subtly bitter. Slightly bitter. And rich. Hmm. I gotta get rid of some of these. Health ones are honestly the least useful. What are they going to make? Craft some more. Rock Tito with River Horse. I bet this will be crap. But it does seem like there's some sort of cycle or hierarchy of which ingredients overpower others. Yeah, it's just a rapid smoothie. Okay. A mixed blend with a river horse. I get rid of that. Sure. 
Get rid of the crappy ones in exchange for the better ones. We won't need these for a while anyway. Okay. So. Potato with. Grapes. Grape tato. He should be able to get a bunch of rock tatoes on. The mountain, I would imagine. And that's. Oh, Rocky! You got a mixed climbing smoothie. The richness of the smoothie's flavor is only maxed by its complexity. Potato with apple. Probably just gonna be another mixed climbing smoothie. Okay. That's. Just a mixed apple smoothie. Okay. Apple potato. As one does. And potato and nectar, so this is gonna be a sweet climbing smoothie? Probably. And. Smoothie. And that's a sweet climbing smoothie. A very sweet floral smoothie that carries nature's blessing with its rich flavor. It's just a nice way of saying it tastes like dirt. Come back soon. Hmm. Another one of those whiffs. Let's check out the sanctuary. See what's inside it. Oh, we can actually enter that right now. Oh, huh. Okay. That is very nice. I wonder if that's a completely optional dungeon. Can't pull those, pull the carrots out, but you can use them there. Feed the horses, it seems. Or any other kind of creature. Mm. Do you wonder what Lost Woods are gonna be like? Well, we got a teleport point. And I would imagine that leads into the Lost Woods. Well, that said, Lost Woods and 2D Zelda's were not actually trapping you. I mean, actually not all that hard to go through. And, oh, this is just the Eternal Forest. Oh, so if you came in here from outside... I wonder if it would force you out. The mist would waylay you. Come on. Yeah, let's try to take a complicated path. And yep, it just kicks you out. You can't cheese it. Eternal Forest. I wonder if the Master Sword is in there. It... would honestly be kind of weird if it was. This is more or less where the mountain was and... or however it was and... went to the pass and... That's just flowers. Okay. That does seem like we have access to some kind of optional or out-of-order dungeon. Which is great news to me. Mm -hmm. Give me more recipes. Recipes, five more to go. Huh. See what kind of things we can find around them. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But, if I went to the Lost Woods, early in to the past, and I never tried that, I'd imagine it would just not let you pull the Master Sword. The entire point of getting the Penance of Virtue, the plot coupons, is to pull the Master Sword. So all they'd have to do is just not let you do that. You go over, it just won't do you any real good. Oh, I... That is interesting. That required bombing. Some kind of cave. But crawl tool should do the trick somewhat. For up the let us go. Hello there. Oh. Well moving it. Well, there's your problem. We got up top to. Uh huh, it's cold. It's cold up here. Come on. Have a mountain. 
Oh boy, Eternal Forest, Tabra Mountain. Oh, then Volcano. If I just fell down, would it? Oh, uh, okay. You can go up, but you can't really go down. What if I use the keys? That break my fall? Let me see. Nah, you can go up, but it's still an invisible. Well, it's still a void out. At least, maybe I'll get a Kuko eventually. The query that bomb will okay, was meant to be the intended way to get through. Yeah, we're, we didn't do that. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and hit up another rift. Don't stop. Honestly, the fact that we didn't go to the sanctuary first thing like you usually do in well, every other, all two other Zelda games that have used the same map did kind of pique my interest. Sort of, you know why? Why though? Why is it like that? Explore around the area a little bit. I wonder how many lifts are going to be connected to the Sanctuary Lift. Point has been recorded, now work here using the map. It would make sense for the Automaton Hunts base would be a reward for an optional dungeon. But if I can use them to blow up things that can be blown up, that would be really, really nice. Come on. Keep it still. Keep dropping. Keep dropping. There we go. Okay. And... That's rip stuff. So... Does that frog clear up rain? Interesting. There are a couple of frogs here. But... What is this water? Mm -hmm. Some braziers. Let's see what we can do around here before. Oh, so the frogs basically just bait. That might be true. This is... We're in the Ribitoon Echo. An amphibious crooner whose golden croaks draw monster other monsters to it. Oh, so the Dripitoon is not the base form. Other monsters to it, which can be useful as a trap. Okay, so it's basically taunting. Okay, cool. Get them hit both of them, actually, if we position ourselves right. There we go. Oh, it's gonna go... Prioritize the river turn. Okay. Hmm, I wonder how many other... It seems that the rifts around the sanctuary are limited to the general area of the sanctuary. That makes sense. Alright. Some water over there. Let's actually just check out everything on this side of the water before we go into the sanctuary. Hmm. Probably just under Hebra, more or less. Sort of Hebra under Mountain. And yep, the different color of stone nicely indicates what's going to be Hebra, so to speak. Stamp right here, which is nice. Let's pick it up. And we just need one more to get the stamp card. Fun. It's interesting that I got rid of the Summon Deco. If I climbed up there, I'm not sure that would actually be Hebra proper, but no, it probably would be. There still does seem to be a bit of grass terrain on the map, even though it's probably not even actually grass. Oh, it would be marking the trees, presumably. Anything behind here? It. Not really. Huh. Just chop more grass. Camera angle switch is really, really nice. Let's just mark. All the edges of all of the rift corners. Marking their vertexes is actually a pretty nice way to do it. So, got a bit more grass. Any more caves? Doesn't look like it. Camera out a little. Cool. Can't get on there. Let's just check and see. What can I access in the sanctuary right now? 
Hi. Is that me? Is that me? Oh, and monsters. Okay. Kind of monster, though. Eh, that's okay, just just keys. Alright. Oh, they all got got. And you, what do you have to say? What an enormous rift, it's gigantic. It's completely engulfed my poor grandpa's grave. Ouch. So if I light that on fire, I'd imagine that it would probably open up that tombstone. Yeah, this is very Ocarina of Tom Kakariko too. And uh, the sanctuary is kind of close. Not really. Okay. Toss and toss, and that's open. What are we gonna get? Da -da 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 -da. Oh, we got these guineas. I think these are guineas. No, they should be in. They go down quick. And that's one of the guinea echo. Eternally lonely, this one-eyed ghost has an unfortunate tendency to whip potential friends. And that... They don't seem to have any unique capabilities. Sad. Anything from here? Just grapes. Okay. Nectar. How am I gonna open... That just kill the monsters, maybe? A teddy bear? That's interesting. Come on, Guinea's. Guinea's Book of World Records. I. Okay. It's not like there's any sun cooldown. Oh, what's going on is. They're attracted by the teddy bear. Uh, I did not mean to do that. Oops. So I can make the teddy bear come back. Yeah, okay. Just there then. I. Oh, did. <sighs> Broke that teddy bear too. Come on. Well then. Should get the echo for that teddy bear at least. Thank you. Oh, but. Oh, we can jump in on That's nice. You are the stuffed toy echo. A cute plush little, little plush guy for creepy unknown reasons. Ghosts are drawn to it. Probably implying that the ghosts are kids. Oops. Kids from the... Okay, so that's not a bottomless pit. Kids who are drawn into the rifts. It... There's a good amount of darkness to this one. I like that. They didn't make it... Cute and saccharine just because it's quote unquote the girl game. I respect that. Fashion grapes. And will that break the stuff to I? So I know it took damage from. I, I feel kind of bad now. Oops. So what else is going to be in here? What a workhorse mob, and we should get another. Triangle from Sanctuary. I hope. Which would mean Wizolfo, Stark Nuts, Mothula, Electro Wizrobe. Pretty much everything worth using is going to be usable now. Okay, and. I, oh, the trick is their wall passing. Right, okay. Some of the Guinean. I right, but go attack that switch. Nice! Cool. This looks like a bit of a dungeon in the actual prison sense, because there are chains there. And oh! Big guinea. Hello. Oh, right. oh, there are a bunch of the walls, too. That's fun. All right. Stay out of the way. Take down the big ones. It's basically just play dodge until... The other guineas get got. Oh, but it seems it was summoning more guineas pretty much infinitely until... Oh, we got a big ghost. We killed the big one. We're in the guinea level 2 echo. The largest type of guinea. This monster is a huge eyeball and tongue to match its stature. Let's summon that. And oh, it's huge. Okay. Finally got big monsters. 
Opens that up, and this is... Oh, another golden egg. Okay. I... I wonder how they're going to be replenishable eventually. So far, both of them have we've come from. Chess. Okay, cool. That gets marked like a cave. As did... Other things. Let's actually enter this rift. Hi. I can create an entrance here. Stand back, Zelda. Out of order! Out of order! Though honestly, I don't think this has real order to it. The entire sanctuary seems to be in here, so... I think this might be automaton stuff. This is the still world, but this area isn't connected to a big rift. Even so, I can sense my friends here. They're not moving at all, I get the feeling they're trapped or something. If we rescue them, we'll be able to mend the rift. I can sense my friends in three different areas. They're somewhere in this area here, let's find them and rescue them. Okay, so this is basically just a scavenger hunt. Still Northern Sanctuary. Hmm. Go inside, yeah. And oh, we got moblins. Okay. Let's trap you. And oh goodness, that's real bad news. And a club mob one that weeps. Would not imagine that I can get any kind of echo from them because they are, of course, monster. I mean, are of course. Ah, I keep weeping. I don't mean to. Because they're void monsters instead of real monsters, so it's some kind of mimic situation, I would imagine. But you here, we can ensure you all approach from the same angle, at least, which might cause problems with shielding, but we'll see. Come on. Come on. Ah. It's one down. That's just energy. Okay. You gonna get anything from here, or take you out? We can drag you to a more opportune position. And another. There we go, and a horrible light. Yeah, there we go. We want it. Groups of little bubble, ba bubble babies. Can't read that, sadly. Hmm. Seems there are actually a lot of people around the sanctuary, too. Hmm. I. Let's send some peace out at you. Oh, goodness. That was unpleasant. Uh. Enemy versions do seem a bit more aggressive. Maybe in that case... The stinger flies are probably too slow, though. I guess I could try summoning it away. Sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. Uh. They miss. It's honestly too slow. Come on. I... Or, of course, I can just keep him still. Yeah. Okay. Make sure we can spot that situation. Uh, when will you be still? I'll be still when you charge at me. It's actually most important the point. Okay. Up there, doesn't look like it. And more guineas, of course. Hmm. Well, that's, or of course I could just put the big guinea down to avoid the terrain. Yep, okay. Ah, oh, I went for a big lick. That's fun. Okay. Nice. That's a cool option. Hmm. Just have to drop down through here, maybe? Let's move those rocks around real quick just to see if block anything. Nothing of note. <laughs> but being able to pull and push this way is nice. A little faster. Go down here. Thank you. And more energy we don't need. Hello, Guinea. It seems like there's something in that tombstone. I oh, okay. But the charge that they have to do is annoying, especially since 
I don't have any kind of interruption resistance. Let's rest over here briefly. Can I push any of these? Probably push this one. Well, bind that. Just rip it out. Pull it out of the way. And there is another try friend. Three threes. Okay. Oh, okay. I actually found everything there, so. Bind and then pull this way. It's probably the right direction. Yep, it's that direction. You're up there. Which means. Some crawling will be needed. Okay. Thank you, and. Oh, okay. Oops. Also again. And we can just hop up top and pick that up. Yep. Stand on one tombstone and got everyone. So the sanctuary should be restored. We found all of my friends in this area. Now we can mend this rift. And another triangle or what? It is interesting that there are some just separate rifts not connected to plot progression or dungeon content. What is my reward for this going to be? Huh. My friend shared some of their power with me. Yep, and... Nice! Oh, actually... Got two my crystals from Try. So let's go back to your world now. Oh, we got part of the way to a level. Okay, so that's his level bar. Okay, interesting. Hmm. So I guess we need to mend more rifts. Maybe multiple dungeons before we get any more of that. It's actually not fixed yet. Hmm. Who's in the sanctuary? Oh, just dudes. Okay, cool. Grapes. Well, oh well. I pray my family stays healthy. I pray, pray the world finds peace, and I pray. And my wife makes meat stew for dinner. Hi. Ah, hello, traveler. How nice of you to visit us here. Ah. Lucky to have many travelers passing by, so I get to hear all sorts of rumors of the wide world. Perhaps you like to hear the latest rumors of the world beyond. The golden colored eggs. Oh. If you were to tell, the eggs that shine like gold. I've never seen one myself, as so they're quite rare. Apparently you can just eat them, but the true gourmet mix is one with something else. Also given to understand that it can be sold for a handsome sum at the shops. Exotic smoothies. Oh. Apparently the business scrubs latest adventure is selling smoothies. The extraordinary thing is that you can make new recipes by bringing in your own ingredients. Besides tasting these smoothies bring a variety of benefits, so I'm not sure what those are. If you're curious about them, a business scrub is a little sand just west of the sanctuary here. The Great Fairy. Southeast of Hyrule Field lies like Holly, a rumor to be home to a fair of very great powers. That's right, the only Great Fairy in Link to the Pass. And I think A Link Between Worlds was in Lycania. Supposedly can, she can grant a powerful moon to those who meet her demands. Actually, I think it might have been in A Link Between Worlds, it might have only been Low Rule slash A Dark World. When she also has a great love of rupees, I am told, if any, any of that intrigues you, perhaps you'll seek her out and discover the truth. Okay. Certain more tales will wander in here as time goes on, they always do. Stop by again if you get the chance and hear the latest. Alright then. So... Might be good to check out. How much might ore do I have? I mean, my crystals, I mean. Got nine. So one more and I can get the only other upgrade available to me at the moment. Yep, try. Maybe power tries received from their friends. You get a bit more to actually get any more summon power. Okay, then. So the grave's back. Perhaps we pull that open. But did you see it? There was a staircase by the big gravestone. My grandpa told me there was a secret staircase hidden here, but I didn't believe him. And so told me a stuffed toy about as a souvenir was taken by a ghost here. Yeah, how then? Do you think that could story also be true? I'll actually spawn that in and see what happens. And... Okay, she doesn't comment on it. Oh well. Uh. Oh, I bet I could use could have used that stuffed toy. I sure was the guinea fight. Not that it was really a problem. One or the other. And... Oh, okay. Alright. 
So that was it, I guess. <laughs> it is, yes! There was a little mini dungeon, so to speak, in here. With a golden egg as a reward and a big ghost at the end. This single gravestone you can pull. Oh. First time we pulled that, we got a red rupee. It's not a dungeon or anything. It's just a cemetery. Well then. I know that you were here. Hey, hi, and whole acorn gathering. Give it a go. Find a snack, find a bag. Gathering acorns is never a drag. Pick up the acorns. Okay. One try. Ten rupees. Time to gather. How many? Gotta get up on bushes. Okay. 11 acorns. Time goal is 40 seconds. Let's go. And we went through a bit of still world, but it did not actually give me more summon power. It gave me a bit for a bit of an experience bar, but it's not the same as actually getting more. It was actually a bit of a surprise to me. Thought for sure that it would be easier to get things. Jump on here, get another acorn. One on top, one over there. Okay. Get on top. Mm -hmm. Yep, there we go. Cool. Mm -hmm. oh. Nice work, you got all of the acorns. Oh. Your time is 27.31. The remains go red and surprise time now, just another red rupee. I'm wondering how fast can we do it? Wow, that was lightning fast, so fast in fact that you get a special one-time bonus. Ah, golden egg is a one-time bonus. And visit me again and play some more. So maybe each of them has a one-time golden egg drop as a reward? I could see that being the case. So I guess we could craft some golden egg stuff. Smoothie shop, smoothie please. What if I crafted two golden eggs with each other? What would that do? That's only going to give me one recipe as opposed to multiple from the others, but... Oh well. Should get more rock tables when we go on the mountain. And that's just a golden smoothie. So we've got two of those, so both grapes and a golden egg, and golden egg with a golden egg will make the golden smoothie. Got too many drinks, I'll make some space first, but I'm not trying to make anything now anyway. Okay. We also got access to a tiny bit of the snow mountain, too. Hmm. That is the Eternal Forest and the Elden Volcano. Honestly, my curiosity will never be sated. Let's just go to the Eternal Forest now. This is in the place of the, where the Lost Woods were, more or less, in Link to the Past and Link Between Worlds, and you cannot climb on the top of the tops of the trees here. You have to actually go through. You can't just cheese the thing. Hmm. Main thing is, you can't really do map navigation, but it's not actually repeating like other Lost Woods and other Zelda games were. So you can use, I suppose, grass. Maybe chopping grass to show where you've been. And this, some kind of sconce. It's interesting. Wonder what that's gonna. I'm gonna have to put on that. Mm -hmm. Get that. Another monster stone. Mm. By the way, we can get rid of these pins now. It's just marking the edges of the rift, and that's just where the sanctuary is, and they just told me up business scrubs and smoothies. That rift stayed, interestingly enough. And let's do this. Maybe level two might be able to. No, the shield still blocks that. Okay. Huh. Come on. Keep slashing. Thank you. Hmm. It's pretty much a mirror match. Come on. Ugh. Not great. Tommy's a bit off. Can kind of desync, so to speak. But with that sort of routine. We were in a position where every hit our mob went dealt would hit. And every attack the other one did would bounce off the shield. Let's mark this here as a sconce. Okay. Maybe there are going to be pennants of virtue or something like that we need to place it down on there that we don't have access to yet. 
But it reminds me of... There are a bunch of fake Master Swords in A Link to the Past that you would pick up around the woods. And of course, the only actual Master Sword was very deep in the woods. Mm -hmm. Except no substitutes. And... Mm -hmm. We're using grass to see where we've already been. If I get deep in the forest... What am I going to find? Another trunk. Hmm. Any new echoes or... That's oh, just a rope. So they're not really... Oh, high level spear mobling. Now that's exciting. This could be a good way to fight. But of course, as a high level enemy, they break bond after a while. And there we are. Spear Moblin level 2 echo. When the Spear Moblin level 2 echo, this Moblin throws spears relentlessly, keeping foes at bay. Its arcing throws can reach even distant enemies. And that, that's going to be a fun option. Both of those are very much workhorses. These, these pedestals. Oh, can I light them on fire? Let's see. No, they can't be lit on fire. So I'm wondering what they're going to be for then. Either way, we can mark them so that we know to come back later. Whenever we've got whatever we need to put down there. Because I can't target them. Which normally would be the most obvious thing to do. Try to target them, pull, and maybe... Send try at them to activate them, maybe? Come on. Give you away when you're hitting, and... Mm. I can hit you while you're open. Hit. Hit. At least we can cut grass while they fight. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. But again, I wonder what's all meant to be in these woods, and that is a big moblin. Okay, so it did die. That might not even be a moblin. Mm -mm. It's a big something. Get around here. Okay, the grass is starting to come back. Okay. Maybe? No, actually, I don't think. The grass is not starting to come back, so it is still a... Decent marker. A gigantic moblin over there. Gigantic whatever. Maybe it's a boss macabre they're taking stuff from Here's the Kingdom. Maybe. Got another Deku Baba, but it's just a level one Deku. Okay. Oh, and it was on top of a sconce. Hmm. I really, really wonder. What is that going to... What does it do? Well, once we're told, we'll be able to come here and immediately do it. Mm. Got you, big guy. Oh, but actually... Oh, you can't be grabbed at all. Ouch. Oh. It's not good. So if I toss on Ignazol and just... Oh my lord. That was... What? God damn. Stupid Ignazol blocked me. Calling the choke point. That was so stupid. So we're still in here. Okay. Oh, and it sent me all the way back to that autosave and I... Without things being marked, of course all the grass is back and all the enemies are back. This is insufferable. Oh, that's right. I should have put down another fairy. Picked up another fairy because I got another bottle. Well, alright. This is actually really annoying because that was... 
counting all that grass to tell me where I've been. <sighs> well, it, at the very least, I could go back and try to find another fairy. Fairy for the bottle, but all the enemies, some of the enemies at least are back. <sighs> Keep fighting. One more hit should do it. Thank you. Okay. Dr. Baba over there. Make sure everything gets marked. And it's interesting because our death symbol, our death marker, is now off the map. Hmm. Come on. The fact that you're. Oh, and the summons can block you is actually becoming a bit of an issue. Which isn't really meant to be most of the time, but normally you would have more health at least. Probably. Well, let's try to fight that big dude again. Can I light you on fire? That's going to be rather crucial. I can light you on fire. Yeah, it... This bypasses shields. Okay. Or not. Sometimes it doesn't. Put worm down in one spot. Wait for you to swing. I... Okay. Come on. I, oh, I... Really? Really? I hate you so much. How am I gonna... Stupid. Not a fun way to get a high ground or something. I... No, that didn't quite work. You are stupid enough that... Oh, well, you can just jump. Okay. Cool. Hmm. Maybe this isn't the best place to be right now. Maybe. I can still jump, but... So can he... Okay. Thanks. I, if we get you in a sort of fork, so to speak, keep the fire going and... Uh, a Tondra would be nice. I... That might be what I have to do. Use a... Ribbitune is a Tondra and... Yeah, okay. Come on. Hi, there we go. The taunting helps. And keep the fire up. Number two, and we can keep kiting you. Keep the fire up. And slowly but surely, whittle you down. And it. Easy enough. Okay. Number two, and Ignazole. But of course, this is rather. Inconvenient. Slow, painstaking. It's gonna be mob in level 3 or something, maybe? I can see that. And all of those. And this all ends. Not... Ugh, ugh. That ends. I... Thanks, fire again. And we did it! And this is. Sword Moblin level 3? That also takes 5. Okay. A veteran Moblin that is mastered using its huge sword and shield to cut down all opponents. Now that was painful. And definitely a bit silly. But attrition worked. This is... Purple Rupee. That makes you really happy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, freedom. I wonder what's up here. I bet a might ore. I mean, my crystal. Can't cut that grass. So. Dismiss. Hiss. And, oh, no, that just goes up to this chest. Which I imagine I wouldn't be able to reach. It's out of here. Can't drop down into the area from... Outside. I know, just... Okay, Monster Stone. 
cool. Hmm. Gotta get back. We have a lot, but nothing yet to do with them. Hmm. Keep moving around. Not lost woods. The found woods. The more sconces. And... Oh, maybe this will tell me what I do with them. Oh well. Some kind of... Tablet. The text is impossible to make out. Oh, so maybe... In the original Link to the Past, it was not, I believe, in Link Between Worlds. There was an item called the Book of Medora, whose entire purpose was... Sometimes there's ancient Hylian, and you don't know how to read it, and you can use the book to transcribe it. It was... But you had to use it as an item. It wasn't just you pick it up as a key item and now you can read Halloween. You had to use it every single time. I don't imagine they'd do it in such a retro style now. But if I can't read it, I would imagine that the Book of Medora is going to be relevant again somewhere. That's actually real cool. It... It's such a love letter to old Zelda. While still maintaining a lot of quality of life stuff. Quest monitor is a big one. Hmm. Let's see, teleport was over there. Got this hollow with armadillo. Clearly, we're gonna need to get the book to do anything here. But once we do, we'll know what we're doing very plainly. Okay. Right in range. Thanks. Cool. So, mark this other sconce. So there are. Oh, they're very clearly making out a Triforce shape. Ah. Lord knows what that'll mean in practice, because I don't even know how to activate these things. But. Gonna have to draw a Triforce or something somehow. Maybe eventually I'll get some sort of grapple or rope ability with the rod, and that'll be how I connect them. Very plain I'm going to have to connect to them somehow. That's pretty plain. But, a bit more in this clearing. What's here? It's starting to get a bit more misty, maybe. Not quite sure. Hmm. wonder if the mist will clear once we accomplish whatever this area's ultimate objective is. I... This is conspicuous. Very conspicuous. Okay. So I... Should get rid of some of these markers. I'll do that. I guess it's off to the volcano. Move. Move. So if you kind of wobble the stick, you can select the pin instead of the cave itself. But still, it's finicky. Right. Okay. Those torches that I could light before confuse me a bit. Thank you. So yeah, we're going outside the castle as much as we can. I like Halia, which is going to be a rupee sink, I imagine. Ember Mountain, Eternal Forest, and Eldin Volcano. Volcano time. Ugh. So get more rock potatoes. that could mean more recipes. But the fact that golden eggs come from those time trials is interesting. Golden Volcano Trail. Hmm. Kulon City and the volcano itself is actually pretty big. Hmm. Okay. 
Castle Moat. We have very deliberately avoided taking any kind of obvious path. It's funny. I wonder if Eastern Palace is also going to be like Sanctuary in a sort of in a way that's going to be a sort of mini dungeon, referencing its importance in the original game without being a, a real dungeon, so to speak. And we got another bomb of a wall. I really do wonder if I'm just going to have to wait until I get the actual bomb ability. Because eventually you'll be able to craft. Not craft, but the sword fighter will eventually get bomb capabilities. Okay. I... Mm, no, 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 no. It's there. That binds. That will take me up. Go sideways if you have to. I may as well take the actual trail. Up, up, and... Oh, what do you know? More Moldorms. Come on. Let's... Oh, I did not mean to do that. Got you stuck. Couple more shops will do it. More of you. Thank you. Keep it still. Her buddy chop you down. Okay. Cool. And... Oh, goodness. Goodness. Goodness me. Oh. Oh. There we are. Too close to... Well, too far away to hit me, which is good. None of those rocks seem like I can do anything to them. Hmm. Either way... Back to bed. We need a few more hearts. Alright. I wonder how many dungeons there are going to be in this one. In the original Link to the Past, there were 20. I mean, not 20. And there are 20 hearts in this one. I wonder how many of those are going to be taken up by heart containers. Oh, are there? It's going to be ore. Doesn't seem like it. No, my crystal. Hmm. It's a climbing wall, but also that cave. Hmm. It's digging related. It's kind of a shame they don't keep these dotted lines, because there would be a nice way to tell where you've explored and where you haven't. Well, let's go in that cave then. Hmm. But the fact that I didn't get another point surprised me. Also tells me that I'm probably not going to get another point immediately from the next dungeon anyway. Oh, mini Tektite. Okay. Oh. Okay. Easy enough to chop down. Can't do all the marching. Oh, but they're kind of stun locking. Okay. Can't just crush with a rock, sadly. Okay, we can learn that. And that's... You earned the beetle echo. Oh, no, beetles. The small monster isn't very strong, but can overwhelm the unwary in great numbers. Okay. Well. How long is the attack base is kept up? I just wonder, when am I going to get some that lets me dig? Oh, we got a beetle. Hive. Or the beetle mound echo. Strange pillar of soil that produces beetles endlessly or until it's destroyed. And... Can I, how do you destroy the beetle mound? Oh, you drop it. Drop it off. Okay. There you go. Come on, then. Come on. <clears throat> Interesting way to do things. I would imagine there's some limit. How many they can have at once? Should we take them out? This quickly might not actually be the best option. Come on. Uh, uh, come on. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Oh, so you can bond without targeting. That's right. That's a better option. Okay. More rest. Thank you. Thank you. 
Cool. Find. Let's to push and see if there's anything here. Rarely is there anything uh, anything underneath, but always want to check. Always got to check. More beetles. Got to pick up their mounds and push them off to the abyss. Come on, I... Oh my goodness. That's annoying. Come on, come on. Come on. Beetle mound, beetle mound. And... Yep, toss you off. Goodbye. Okay. Another beetle mound. I wonder what they'll be useful for. I think you can make them dig for you, right? Don't imagine. Come on, come on, come on. Push, drop, drop, push. Okay, there we go. End of you. And that lets us out of top two. And oh, more rock tails. Cute. Get a bit of rest. Anywhere, anytime. Thank you. And then. And then. Oh, I got the climbing wall. Could have just used other means to get over here, too, but. Eh. This is where the climb starts. Some kind of torch slug? It's interesting. Yeah. Let's get ready. And. Put you out, maybe? Or not. Hmm, either way, we can pull you off the wall, which is good. Probably immune to. No, the fire wasn't a problem. That's. With the torch slug echo. Yeah, those are just in. Ocarina of Time, right? Slummy and able to cling to walls and floors. This monster leaves a trail of flame wherever it goes, beware. And it's rather durable, too. Hmm. Well, then. Could do a bit of climbing. Could also not do that. Could find other ways around. Oh, rock salt drops from rocks. Okay. Well, that makes sense, but. Got a little more than then. Could be a way to get additional instances if we were so inclined. Come on. Mm. Jump. 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 Mm. Down here now. Some boxes and. Oh, what do you know? It's all this. Okay. Cool. Keep you in a good position. Thank you. I. Oh, please. Got a lot of them, too. Annoying. Sphere actually was into a dark blue eye. You know, maybe it's Beanie Town. Let's see that. Maybe. Keep ourselves nice and far away. Oh, well, you've gone down. Mm -hmm. What you gonna jump? Come on. Guinea. Guinea. It's slow, but the Lizalfos are fine enough to attack. Okay, and get knocked off her. Oh, it's high up enough that it's completely out of range of the spear strikes. It's actually real funny. Come on. Gotcha. Said it oftentimes misses too. There we are, that's a rupee. Do your job. Do your job. There you are. Solfos. Luckily, it's not knocking them off the edge, which could easily become annoying, honestly. Come on. Come on. Really? Really? Okay. Please. There we are. One more with Solfos. Okay. There we go. Thanks. Keep looking. And it... Ah, that unlocked that chest in. Well, there's a rupee down there. It... I'll go get it anyway. I'm a broken man. And yeah, we can just climb right up here. Awesome. 
Keep going. Thank you. I, that was kind of strange. Very, very finicky. Apple. Probably a rock tittle. I would think. Oh, and we got another. Teleport. Stuff, grapes. And... Oh, just a my door. Through my crystals. Oh, so that raises the question of... Are those going to respawn? Is that now an infinite supply of my crystals? My hunch would be no. But at the very same time, the game is very generous in somewhat uncharacteristic ways. Check. Another teleport point. Cool. Close to Goron City. Hmm. What another bombable. Okay. Alright then. Let's keep track of that for later. This is where I was previously. Got that stamp. Okay. Hmm. All those, but. Wonder if it's gonna be an echo or some other kind of progression. Either way, now that we've got that teleport, we can go back to Sword Place, get a bit more energy. Not that it makes a difference. But if I need it for some kind of puzzle solving, we solve more gauge, so I don't have to worry too much. And we'll have as many upgrades as we can get at the moment. What do you want to enhance? Energy's the only thing we can do right now. Is that because of the fire trunk? And my crystals for an energy upgrade. Thank you. Thank you. And that's... Energy gauge is now level 3. Sword doesn't look any different. Hmm. What do you want to enhance? Can't do that anymore. That's an oxymoron. I mean, that's redundant. Okay. So, we're on the trail. Number of bombable walls that I cannot open. Hmm. So, when am I going to get... Okay, so that seems to be permanently closed. There's that one that goes sound like Wii U, Wii U, that's the sound of the police. It's an English song. Well, English language, it's very plainly American. Let's see what other recipes I might be able to make. Get another benefit from the business scrub. Well, that's what I mean. It's not Italian. All right. E. Check out recipes. Fortunate climbing. Made everything there. Let's see what we can make new. Apple. Made stuff with a potato. Sweet climbing smoothie. Fortunate milk. Nothing with milk in a potato. Milky potato. Let's see how this goes. Alrighty. Your smoothie. And that's a milky climbing smoothie. A nutritious drink with a mellow flavor and silky smooth texture. Hmm. So what can I afford to part with? Salted milky is fine. Anything with salt. I'm not going to need that energy recovery, I imagine. Okay. Get rid of some of these. Okay. Milk ends. Potato ends. Salt as well as potato and potato. Give her potato and salt. Salty potato. That's a classic, right? You'd expect that to be good. And that is a salted climbing smoothie. 
The richness of the smoothie is enhanced by a bracing saltiness. Potato and radiant butter. Butter potato. It should also be good. Okay. I'll also make one that's just potato and potato. Alrighty. And it should be our 30th recipe too. A, oh, just a mixed squatting smoothie. Okay. Which is the smoothie's flavor, only max bites complexity, yada yada. Let's get rid of one of these. Salty can go, anything with energy restoration. It's primary effect, we don't really need. Potato and potato. Let's do this. Should be our 30th. And that's... It's a normal climbing smoothie. Yep. Got a climbing smoothie. A rich, flavorful smoothie that keeps you full for quite a while. And, oop, you got too many drinks. I'll make some space first. And, well, let me see. We need two, actually. Two to go. Okay. Back to the volcano. Golden eggs are going to be new combinations with things then. Hmm. I wonder if there's going to be a heat issue when I get to the actual volcano. Hmm. Whatever. Ugh. Either way, there we can pull the torch slugs off the walls if they become a problem. Can't really jump there. Hmm. Pull you off. Yep, there we go. And... Drop that. Oh, the mob would take out the slug. Oh, fire's coming. Yeah, because it doesn't pay attention to enemies at all. It's just all about the fire. Thank you. And that's gone. Okay. Back there. You know, this is a way to get rock salt. It's not horrible. You can always use the crawl to uh... Yeah, this is very plain. We'll just... Just use the crawl to instead. It's not even contention. Okay. That should be... The final piece of heart we need, actually, for another heart container, I think. Yeah. And... No, no. We need one more. Okay. Hmm... Either way, let's go up top. Don't need that. Pure won't do much. Hmm. That part of the wall. It's probably a lava lake or something. But given that rocks produce salt, honestly. I feel like getting a bit of rock salt. How much rock salt do I... I need... Well, not crafted it with. I need about four more, I'd say. Probably. This will just push me. Oh, and damage too. Okay. Spin, spin. Okay. Let's rest. Yeah, avoid those vents. I also just put things in their way, but... seem to be flammable, so we need something not flammable block it. It was... you want to block it for a decent amount of time. Yep, it just immediately catches fire and breaks. Awesome! It's what I like to see. Down under here with the mold horns and... oh, boulders are coming. Real stuff. Come on. Let's trap you. And get you cut out. There we go. Hmm. It's the cave I came here from. So to block those rifts, block the vents, well the easiest way to not bother would be just go down and climb up. Okay. I guess it is a little cheesy. A little. Vents. No salt. Okay. Or just time your movements to avoid getting hit. Yeah. I imagine some of them are going to be permanent. 
Okay. You'll have to find some other way around. Okay. The rocks are falling. Okay. Thank you. Not like that. Come on. Come on. Hmm. You can always bypass this by climbing. But should be something in here. And what is your deal? This strange mushroom enemy. They were in a link to the past, too. Oh, they just blow enemies. Blow things away. They try to push you into a pit then. Oh, I see. Okay. I... Oh, you are weak. Okay. That is one of the Giro Echo. It's airborne pest and responds with its powerful breath. Gale strong enough to shove a person around. That... Ah, hmm. uh, we could also use a keys to glide here. Yep, there we are. Okay. Go ahead, die. Thank you, I'm glad you liked it. Oh, and plainly... Well, there's a chest up there. What you gotta do is use the breath to blow out the torches. Or you can just toss hydrazoles, but I'm not really guaranteed to have them here, are you? Not really. And how far will this take me? And not quite. You had made a bad bridge. Could have gotten the distance I'd need, I would imagine. So, let's miss you. Goodbye. Bad bridge. Bad bridge, bad bridge. Keys. There! Very useful. What's in here? Another monster stone. Again, what what do I do with those? I don't know. Whiffed, even from a distance. Cool. So we can continue. Is that Giro too? Blow those all out. Hello. Yep. Nice. Toss you. Occasional to blow stuff out. Cool. Now we can climb up unimpeded. Good stuff. The ability to blow out torches like that. I wonder what else it'll be good for. <laughs> Goron City ahead. Getting close. No rifts here right now. Nice and peaceful. Hmm. I wonder how long that'll last. But seems like it'll be a hot spring or something. Go on hot spring. Let's pull down that torch slide. Okay. Good stuff and my question is could the could the Giro the Giro cannot extinguish it. That would have been fun. Okay, well. Come on. Come on. Another one. Another one. There we go. Cool. And grab this. Do that climbing wall stuff. Okay. As opposed to you. A fan who's constantly dead. Okay, I oh, but if you're still on the wall, you can stay on with to take you off the climbable portion. Okay. Slash. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. Another joke at your expense. Okay. You have to pull them off the wall. Hmm. Well, I mean, I... because you're not alive. More or less. Always on the verge of death. Go down here. What can we find? Yep. Let's just drag you off. And... Oh, you can cling on if you're close enough. Okay. Cool. That's sad, isn't it? Well, the joke was just the double meaning of the word fang. So we can barely pinch that rupee without 
touching the fire. Okay. Can't spin on walls, which makes sense, but would have been fun. There's a chest here. Oh, moldorms on the walls. Wow. Another monster storm. I feel like it's going to be Castletown, where the use of that is going to be revealed to us. Right. No rocks on there. Bit of, not wedges, but little individual crenellations, I suppose, around there. Okay, pull you off and grab you again. You down. Gets it away nicely. There we go. I love this tactic. What it could also do is hold it still and then have a flying echo grab it. Eh, no. I don't feel like that. One, two, three. Okay. Can we? We can grab onto that with that jump. That's nice. And here we are. Oh, and that's our final stamp for the second stamp book. Nice. And here's Stampman. Oi. My falsetto is not as strong as it used to be. So on to the third stamp book. Yeah. Hi and howdy, stamp guy here. I love stamps. It's always an itty bitty guy and I'm Hyrule's greatest expert. Filled up another card. Here's your next word as promised. You got an act for stamps. You knew you could already rally through two cards. Oh, and a golden egg from that. Three golden eggs. Okay, nice. What joy I'm truly moved. I feel I should spill all the secrets of my past. Hmm? Not interested? I thought you'd be stamping your feet to learn all about stamping. And on to the next card and... Little shark, you got a thrilling stamp card. This is the stamp card ruled by Stamp Rally experts. It is printed on quality paper that highlights the ink beautifully. Hmm. Okay. Okay, all together now. Ready, set. Go, Stamp Rally. Our stamps are out there waiting for you in another reward, too. Wowie. Tell my story, glad to share. Yeah. Said it already. I just like stamps. Okay. Okay. Oh, I wonder. If I use the frog that makes it rain, what that would do to the torch slugs. Either way, I think, now that I've got those eggs, let's go back to the smoothie shop. I was like doing stuff in the main branch, honestly. It feels more official. But we can basically get all the way up to the dungeons and then progress the story enough so they let me in the dungeon. Alright, let's make some stuff with those golden eggs. Yep, we're on to the third stamp card, so I suppose there are 25 stamps in total. So that if there are five stamp cards and five stamps for each... Logically, right? Hmm. Get rid of energy stuff. Okay. Cool. Let's make some stuff with those eggs. That. So, River Horse Gold Nag. Let's see what this does. Hopefully, each of these should be a new recipe. Maybe. Smoothie ends. Got a golden rapid smoothie. The smoothie shows that nothing brings out umami like a touch of River Horse. So, basically, it combines a max level potions time with a full health restore. Okay. Now with grapes, with apple, we'll go for electro. Cool. Just to make sure none of these are wasted. Alrighty. This is a golden apple, golden electro smoothie. Not, not apple, but electro. An electrifying sweetness pairs perfectly with a bold umami in this rich smoothie. Hmm. And now if I'm not mistaken, 30 recipes now. 5, 10, 15, 20. Good going, another strong showing from our smoothie designer. Oh, that's cute. This many, with this many items on the menu, bit my tongue. Our customers will never run out of options. By way of compensation, I'll go ahead and upgrade that scope we gave you before. Ah, so even more drops. You got survey binoculars. This field glasses make smoothie ingredients and monster stones appear more often when you break objects to defeat monsters. After that performance, I'd say you've earned a promotion. If you ever picture yourself in management, maybe running your own branch, eh? But what if she's too good? I don't want anyone cutting into my profits. Actually, we don't have any open positions at the moment. Hope to see you back soon. 
Recipe oh, recipes, please, is complete. We made 30 new recipes for the Business Scrub Smoothie Shops. I still want to finish that book. Cheerio appearance up plus filled glasses as opposed to just the telescope. Smoothie ingredients and monster stones will appear more when you break objects or defeat monsters. So can't just equip both for more. Well, we only have one slot right, slot right now anyway. The smoothie shop, let's chat. Shop's been open a long time. Yeah, okay, that's the same dog as before. Okay. Let's try to make something about last egg. Egg and... Go for the milk, maybe. Or actually, rock salt. Salty golden. Like a pear? Like an almond? He's supposed to look like a giant seed. <laughs> And that's eh, just a golden smoothie. Okay. It doesn't even have the salt. Oh, Mr. Potato Head. Mr. Potato Head is a real American toy. But the difference is that the original idea of Mr. Potato Head is that you would use an actual potato. It was just a bunch of accessories. But eventually they started selling plastic potatoes to use instead. Yeah. I wonder where. I feel like it might max out at six points, maybe. Yeah, that's the idea. Drip it to and oh well, they haven't come back. So we run into another torch slug. I can toss a drip it down, I guess. Hmm. Coron City is right there. Hmm. Well then. Let's see. Hello, Goron. Hello, city. Aha, uh -huh, Goron City's through there. I gotta say, we don't get a lot of high visitors. And they're not really saying anything right now, because, well... This area is not plot-relevant yet. Well, I think that was part of it. The sanitary issues. Is it really true that rifts have been popping up everywhere? I've never seen a big rift before. Just imagining it one is terrifying. Just you wait. It'll show up eventually. Hmm. Oh, there's a stamp there. Hmm. Okay. But he promised. My brother said he'd do the glider ride with me, but now he won't play at all. So I'm gonna master the glider ride on my own. That'll show him. But it's hard. I want to find someone to show me how a glider ride. It's a game you try to glide super far while holding onto a flying monster. I figured using the updrafts to glide farther. It's hard. I want to find something to show me how. I'll show you. Hey, thank you, miss. Let's go. Come on. So many games right here. Glide path. You can use that to just grow more potatoes, too. If you put them in the ground, a potato will just grow more potatoes. They're root vegetables. Hmm. Oh, there's another chest down there. Huh. I'll make it to the flag. Bug potato. We gotta go on without touching the right all the way from here to the flag. If you touch the ground, you gotta start over. Ready, go. Well... We drop down here. That just ends things. No thanks. Oh, but it just sends you back. Okay. Either way, there's a chest there. Let's drop down and get it. Thank you. And that's just a red rupee. Okay. We had no. Well, you know, that's sad. Glide path. You even read a show at Goron Child how to glide a ride. You have to go out of the flag without touching the ground, and a key should hopefully do it. I wonder what flying monster might actually do the job better than a key, then. I feel like the wind enemy might be a good idea, especially if you can get it to sort of blow you around, maybe. Hmm. The Giro. Interesting name. There's another smoothie shop over there. Let's get to Tron. Okay, glider time. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Hmm. I wonder if it can push you. Let's skip that. And can we pick that up? Oh, yeah! It will propel you farther. Oh, that's incredible. 
Use the up drops and that is rapid as all get out. Oh, that's great. I love that. And it even knows to blow the other way so it propels you instead. Wow, you were great. You got it quite smooth and strong, just like my brother does. Let me give you my snack as I thank you. Rock potato. Oh, rock salt, actually. Ten portions of rock salt. All she knew was giving me lots of pointers. Thanks a bunch. I just got to master my moves before the next time my big bro wants to play. Cute. That was rather aggressive. It's done. Oh, we're probably going to get more difficult versions now, maybe. He demonstrated glider run the Goron Child. He seems all set and ready to ride himself now. Yeah. Miss, hey, miss. <laughs> told my brother Decian about you and he wants to meet you. We're right there. Let me go get him. Oh, so a race, maybe? Either way, jet propulsion is going to help. Oh. I was sure the one Seiko told me about. I'm his older brother Decian. Thanks for demonstrating for him earlier. He was telling me how he met a Highland gal who was practically a pro at gliding. I'm glad of riding about three years myself, thinking you can glide better than me. Mm. Spent a whole year making my own corpse, thinking glad the Elden Death Road of Pain. Yeah, let's do it. Mm. I'll ride a new contestant on the Elden Death Road of Pain. Gotta stay focused so you don't wipe out, don't get hurt. <coughs> glide Path Trailblazer. What about Traveler? Okay. Proxy, kill me. Here we are. And it's over there. We can manage. Oh. Gotta go out all the way from here to the flank without touching the ground. Stuff to start over, ready to go. Oh. If there's anything one has to see the glider rider now's the time, but a glider rides. Ah. So support your glider rider you jumping there or holding onto a flying monster. Oh, so I probably missed a bit of dialogue from the little baby before. Gotta go out all the way to the flag without landing even once. Changed my mind, I did not change my mind. Okay. Hero. And turn around, and there we go. Time to, time to fly. Fly a bit better to it. Oh, that was... That's what happens. Okay. Gotta stay away from the vents. Okay. Cool. So, blast off. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my... That was far. Okay, so it is a timing thing. Okay. Mm. Okay. Away from those gyros and avoiding getting hit is going to be rather crucial here. Okay. Away from the vent. Oh, but they're honestly kind of hard to control. Hmm. Especially when they've got their jet active. Mm. Alright. So I'd say this shouldn't be a huge problem. They're just some unique quirks that I had to make myself aware of. And out of the way. Let's have a way about it. Oh! Ah, too fast. Can I grab that? Can I grab that? Can't grab that. Dumb. So I've already lost. <laughs> Dumb. Hmm. It. The keys might actually stay still better, but not as fast. This is cooler anyway. Come on. Stay in one place better. Anyways. Maybe there we can jet over. Timing's actually a bit inconvenient, frankly. Come on, stop already. Okay, there we go. So we've done it. And here we are. Cool. Gonna have a harder road, or is that all? <laughs> you, you got it the entire Elden Death Road of Pain. But I spent a whole year making it. You're incredible, out of this world. I mean, I never expected such a talent to just show up on the scene. Ah. World moves fast, always gotta move a little faster. But I'll give you this for conquering the Elden Death Road of Pain. Ah, more my crystals. Two of them. When I was a veteran of the sport, I gotta warn you, glider rats can be real dangerous, but if you're a thrill seeker like me, you're welcome to come and use the course anytime. Hmm. Any new quest, or...? I guess that's all. Show up for glider riding proficiency by completing the Elven Death Road of Pain. DZ says you're welcome to come back anytime for more thrills on this course. Let's put a bed down. Lost a bit of health from that. Okay. Yep. 
Sleepy Zelda. Zelda. <clears throat> level 3 might be the maximum, honestly. Maybe level 4? We'll see. There's a stamp down there. Hmm. Try going around a bit then. Two my crystals. And we'll send me up this way. And that's where the lava starts. Okay. Hmm. Do you want to get that stamp before I lose track of it? Okay. Drop down pretty easily. There's no fall damage here. That's nice. Go around the side path. Our favorite thing. Crawl up and above this forest. And there's a stamp. Awesome. That just blocks you off. Okay. Another stamp and... Oh, uh, okay, this is impassable. Actually, wait. Maybe I'll try to glide that. Let's just see if this will go up. I think this will probably stop me. Hmm. Yeah. That doesn't work. Luckily, no fall damage. Let's glide down here. What's underneath this rock? Break the rock with another rock. And, yep, rock salt and a mic crystal. But it's gonna be a while until we actually use them for much of anything. Okay. That was all over here. All that's over here, so. A bit more in the lava, which terminates right up here, actually. And then. What about this way at the hot springs? Mark those bombable rocks. Bumble walls. Hmm. Cool place. But I still can't dig, and I still can't bomb. Well, you get around a lot of places anyway. Huh. So... Hey, Miss, you're for a water ride? Nope. Nope. Okay, bye. Come play again sometime. Cute. Hmm. Could go in the city. Wait a bit. Another business scrub. Hello there. Hey there, welcome to the smoothie shop. No. Okay. Pee. Oh, we got bomb versions. Okay. Hmm. I wonder how I can ground you. Hmm. Let's use Spear Mob in level 2. Come on. Oh, we got... Oh, because they're blowing this up at... Oh, I bet. Once we get these guys going, we can... Have them toss down bombs. That's how you do it. Okay. The rocks are you. That's... You want the zero echo. That's... Three. This troublesome flying monster spits a continuous rain of bombs from on high. Hmm. But they can't do that underwater, I imagine. Which... The idea was some underwater stuff I wanted to try to do. Hmm. Not down there. Hot springs there. This level is not a part I got to. Hmm. Okay. Let's break the rocks with other rocks. It actually goes down there. Okay. That's not complicated, then. We've been there, not up here. Anything this way, or... No, nope. probably not. But I... Does this heal? Hot Springs and Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom did heal. So I'm wondering... If it'd be a healing opportunity here. Either way, this is above where that piece of heart was. One more piece of heart would mean more health, actually. And we can use the rocks to do a bit of platform to get up there. 
Volcano. There are those canes there too. They're just giving us lots of rocks on. There's respawning rocks. Oh, okay. Zero still. Tell some bombs down. But we're gonna want to use the spear mob against them then. Otherwise, I'm not exactly gonna hit. Oh well. Thank you, and keep it still. That spears can be tossed at you with impunity. Oh, that automatically exploded. That's kind of crazy. Come on, come on. And there we go. Cool. Oh, and a monster stone. Because we have the scope for that. Cool. And lava starts in. Lava Octorok. Huh. Interesting. Oh, maybe I could use those to. Why that one spot in. Hold on. I mean, fair on. I. Hmm. Sword Moment's good. You are. Someone I want to get rid of. Let's keep it still until. Uh, tax work. Oh, relatively fragile. Okay. Come on. Oh, fire. Not great. This is durable too. Kinda. This is. We're the Fire Octo. This so Octorok variety is adapted to its volcanic habitat using its high temperature to spit fiery rocks. Huh. And that is the terminus, so to speak. In this upper level, then. Alright, let's drag you out of your favored position. Yep, just extricate you. Thanks. So. That again. Do my dirty work. Oh, but how much does the fire rector cost? Okay, just two. It's actually not bad at all. Is that what P has? Come on. Drag you back. Or we could have just spawned in. A mob went already and. Can attack below you? Huh. Did not actually see that coming. Hmm. Over here. Probably at least a dungeon. Mm. Probably gonna want to glide down there with a zero. Thanks. But I fell off when I shouldn't have. It... Being able to retract... a... bond has to be... something very good and very useful here. What? The fall? Or... What are you talking about? Here we are. Cool. Seems like our rupee pickup range is slightly extended when we do a spin, too. Oh well. Rock Roast Quarry. Oh, we can go in there already. I wonder what's going to be in there then. Teleport point. What's well, probably going to just be blocked off then. And actually. No, never mind. We can always go in here. You having a power outage? Ouch. Should mark this for later. Okay. I want a platform. Well, I didn't fall on anything dangerous. It was just annoying. You want the lava rock echo? It's 4 0. Oh. Well, the volcano is home to many rocks like this one. It is heat resistant and won't crumble even in lava. Hmm. So that's. should be nice. Do a bit of gliding real quick. Get that little stamp. Release, stamp. Okay. That's there. Put down a lava rock. And how big is this gonna be? Oh, it's enough to platform with. That's nice. Okay. This. What about a top? Above this. A real volcano is there. That's sad. Sorry to hear that. Will it rain here? Okay, so it doesn't put out the slug, but it... And rain puts out fire on me quickly. So that did not actually do all that much, but... Interesting. Hmm. Oh well. Yeah. I bet. Let me see. 
Oh. Wins. Oh, what? Got in the lava. And, uh, uh. You know, we gotta use some smoothies anyway. Just heal ourselves. Okay. Put a bet on lava, just... You can, you can bridge over it, but a bet in lava just immediately goes to crap. That magma would damage me if I stepped on it. Let's... Now the sword mob went here and... Oh, another piece of heart. Fun. Oh, come on. Same place. Right. Yep, we'll grab you. Grab you. Immobilize your enemies. Absolutely phenomenal option. At any and all times. Over here. And up this way. They can work over lava. Think about the beds that they can actually float. In theory. Also, use a lava rock to move with that geyser. Yeah? If it works, it works. Can I get another piece of heart here quickly, too? That'd be nice. And get burn on lava. Okay. Keep on going, and what are you going after? What? Excuse me? Just go up. Yeah, that worked. And there we have it. We have another heart container. Cool. More than bomb, guys. I want to explore around outside that and probably leave Garan City in the quarry for next time. wonder how much I can do in the quarry. I wonder what the actual dungeon here is going to be. Okay. Come on. Drop you. Drop you. Thank you. Got you, and... Oh, so you can actually free it. That's good. I should do that a bit more. And actually, what if I put you in water? Oh, if I put you in water, you... That does not really permanently restrain you or anything. Actually, it seems like it can't really handle inclines all that well. Hmm. What if I drop the lava rock on you? What would happen? Right under that geyser. And it goes up. How far? Eh, decently, but not amazingly. Hmm. So then, go around where the quarry is. Hmm. I still I do have access to bombs now. There's a cave there. Hmm. Can I bomb that? Let me see. Zero. And... No, that won't get bombed. Let's see what's in here. Well, the Summit Cave! Okay, so this is clearly the dungeon. Because it's one single room that I cannot actually access. Well, one single room, and nothing else. What would be really cool is if all the dungeons became accessible for real after we went through them in the Steel World. And that was sort of the second loop, so to speak. I don't know. Here we are. 13 stamp out of 25. Mm. Bed bridge this, I bet. Yeah. Okay. Get across. Let's see what's here. It's a bomb. Oh, there was a chest. Oh, and a another was Alphos. Hello. Go on lava. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Luckily, we can keep you still. Nice. I, mm. Do the work for me. And it's broken, but not a huge problem. And that should be Wizolfos level 2. Yep, Wizolfos level 2. We already have level 3, actually, from Feron. Nibble and wizard like, this creature is resistant to fire and able to weep into close combat from great distances. That's full offense. 
and also four cost. That might actually be a better option than the... There's something here too. Huh. It might actually be a better option than the sword mob when I've been using. You know, let's use a smoothie. Sure, we can always make more. And then here is... More my crystals. A one. Okay, so that's to eight. Where we were. Let's keep crawling. Thank you. Thank you. Over the rock. Keep moving, and now that puts you on a pure diagonal, because you freak out like that. Okay. Cool. Take me up. And that was scuffed, but if it works, it works. Let's bridge across and see anything up here. Probably not. And... No, that was where the stamp was, right? Okay. Here we are, another cave, and... Gradually work our way down here, then. I suppose. Another teleport point is here. Outside. Presumably another dungeon? Hmm. Maybe. Spear mob would end. Oh, come on. Uh, toss. 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 There we go. Cool. Another teleport point. Fun. Ah. So I do have most of the world map uncovered now. Though, to be fair, there are limits on what we can actually do in that world map. I'd say a little over half, probably. Well, let's pull you onto land and send our trusty mob one at you. Thanks. I there we go. Fire Octo. Come on, come on. Slash. Slash. Okay. Another monster soon, actually. What is this? Is this Turtle Rock? This is a Lizolfos Burrow. Yeah. I want to head deeper in. Sorry, I can't let you do that. It's just too dangerous. You'll have to keep out. Oh, so I imagine that once the rifts come, maybe after we restore the rift, this will be accessible some sort of bonus area, maybe? Maybe. Hmm. Either way, moving around here, and danger lava like ahead. I had no idea. It's so hard to tell. Oh, and those are are those pebbles? I wonder what I'd be able to do to kill those guys with blood force. Probably a bomb. Probably a bomb. I. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that damage. Smear ball was the idea. Keep it close and that damaged you a bit, but oh well. Come on, don't hit me. Who are you aiming at? To throw, once you throw. Thanks. There we are. Okay. Glide down to that piece of heart, and then we probably have to teleport. Okay. Luckily, they still got really good aim. Come on. So he uses a bit of a turret, especially since they don't move all that fast. Oh, and it reflected off the bomb. Sad. That worked. Hmm. I really, really think... It'd be funny if you could just put out the lava by making it rain. That'd be cheesy. Come on. Come on. Actually, that is an interesting question. If I just put a zero down. Hmm. That didn't do it. Let's let a spear mob and do some things then. Okay. Cool. Spear mob one. I, not like that. Not like that. You're up there now. Okay. Cool. Hmm. I don't know if I can bind any of those lava rocks. 
the oh and we picked up its bomb and it damaged us. Okay. Rapid sure. Okay. Uh-huh, okay, that works. We can move that one with us. Interesting. Be able to use it to get up to that cave if you felt like it, I suppose. Jump. Get up top and over and get this down here. That is a bit scuffed, but yep, that's clearly how we're supposed to do it. Interesting. We can use this to bridge over maybe to that annoying point with that piece of heart. Maybe. I... it's worth a shot. Especially since it's gonna suck getting out of it. And I would probably have to teleport out. Which is not how I'm gonna handle things. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's another one of you clowns, right? Come on. Pull you over. Pull you over. Toss. 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 And that's gone. I... Get that. Cool. So my question is just, can I move that over? Yeah, I can. Okay. And it's damaging me a bit, but... Another lava rock and another piece of heart. And that's health. Cool. Yep. So that worked. We even managed to spin jump over that magma rock. We'll go down here and maybe into that one cave singular. But we'll see. Well, let's just summit cave. Zalfos burrow and then two bombable caves that We'll get done eventually. I bet the zero would take you out. Cool. Yep, bombs do good damage to them. Take you close to the bomb. How are you gonna do this? Get detonated. There we are. Okay. And well, you took that damage. This is the Twilis. Ah, oh, small talus. This fire-resistant rock monster's heart exterior is full, so vulnerable to impact. Has a weakness for rock rose. Okay. Get that in. Actually, can you fight each other? Yep. Blunt impact. They can inflict it on each other. Well, I wonder, could they break vulnerable walls if they're blunt? That took some time. This is... Luckily, they're immune to that fire. This is where we stopped before, outside the city. Do you want to test real quick if they can... break those walls? Do have bombs now, which... Maybe that'll be how we get access to... The Link Bomb, so to speak, and... I... Hmm... Try this zero real quick. Come on. They immediately explode on contact and does not look like there's anything over here. There's a chest though, and well that zero is maybe a problem. It needs to be managed. Chest over there. Do a quick test, and that'll be it. A lot was meaningfully accomplished. A lot was, in fact, meaningfully accomplished. <laughs> oh, and a uh, fire whiz rope is there. Okay. Huh. I'd imagine that Spear Moblin is my best bet. Taking you down. Oh, what? Oops. Oops. Hmm. It's not a one shot, at least, but still. Oh, golden. Climbing and something else, maybe. Climbing and sweet climbing. I don't even do real climbing. Okay. But, take out that fire whiz robe. And I can't even do that at the moment. 
Oh, I can't even summon it at the moment. Dodge. Oh, come on. Please. Dodge. I Ow, really? No. Oh, it of course the fire gets me. Okay, whatever. So what am I going to lose? What did it auto save? What did it not auto save? And it. We have that echo at least. Hmm. In that case, I guess we didn't lose anything of significant value. Nah. Hate that. It's not like I can down it or just drop it in the lava. Hmm. But. These robes are definitely. High level. Okay, cool. Thanks. I. Okay. Toss, toss. I. Just toss already. Please. Hmm. It's a timing question. Here we are. We hit one and two, actually. Oh, they can toss. Groups. Nice. And. Oh, never mind. Just gotta make sure we dodge. This is on me. The timing there is actually horrible. One, two, another one down. And okay, one, dodge. Ah, really? Okay. Please. Oh, now you're not paying attention. Fun. And there we are. Keep on tossing, why don't you? Oh, there we are. Nice. And that's. The Fire Wizrobe Echo. Ah, uh, yeah, it takes five. A powerful fire magician, this creature warps across the sky, flinting blades of flame. Got a couple of Wizrobes, but we can't use either at the moment. Great. It's a bed bridge across. Get that chest. Hmm. You were nice and isolated. Ah, oh, good man. Fun. So we'll have our buddy get you. Gone. Cool. Cool. And zero down. Actually, yep, because you could just glide down with them. They also erratic to. Oh, well, also spitting bones. Fine. Okay. I want to talk real quick with. Funny. Funny machine man. Yep. I actually pick you up and oh you drops you all the way down, because it kinda of float, kinda. Of, what? Oh whatever. I that's strange. Guess if I put a bat, I could get some leverage to pick them up. Now we can actually get you in. And I, no, stay there. Don't get in the lava, please. Cool. Let's just have our mini golems fight them again. Not golems, they're just rock monsters. That's right. Cool. Cool. And there we are. Oh, they drop rock potatoes. That makes sense. So that'd be a way to get more. Okay. Cool. Cool. So I suppose that to make another smoothie, we could test out whether the truest can break walls, and that could be it. Talk to Wubery. That's his name. Okay. Breakables were... There's one there. Obviously a bomb should do it, but... Okay. Go down here. Take the warp. Oh, and we're floating a bit because we were on that bed and now the bed's gone. But didn't drop us. Okay. And that... I guess that's a permanent source of light crystals. It's crazy to think, honestly. Singular chest is just... Light crystal having... Okay, so... Even if they could break it, they're not gonna... 
swing their arm without anything to hit, so... I'm gonna warp real quick and see. Maybe I have to take out the zero in front of him, make him think, oh, maybe let's make bombs. So we have to bomb the bows linked during the intro. So, who knows what that'll let us do. Okay. Hi. That's a bomb. Anything new? No, nothing new. Okay. Cool. What do you want to enhance? Can't enhance anything right now. Okay. But yeah, that enemy chest over there is... It just drops my crystals. Just does it. Wonder if that level 2 was all folks is going to come back, or whether it was a non-responding local boss sort of enemy. We'll see. Those ones are back. Do a bit of climbing real quick and see. Thank you. Oh, and even shallow water is too deep for it. Hmm. And, yeah, it's just gone, guy. Okay. For now, at least. Maybe the queue isn't long enough. Let's make something with the golden egg and we'll be chilling. So many things I'm finding. Just utilities I'm not yet aware of. So... Use some of our stuff. Okay. P. Sure. It's the grape and the egg. Golden smoothie. Climbing. The milk. This will all be new. Salt and. That's just golden. It might be a waste, but just will this just be a golden smoothie? It probably will be. Okay. So your smoothie, and that's yeah, just a golden smoothie. Okay. Cool. Golden egg with basically everything is golden smoothie. It makes sense, but still. So then I. Hebra Mountain, we got Lake Hylia. This should probably be Eastern Palace, then after that it's Trudeau Desert and Jabal Waters are kind of unskippable at that point. You know, they're the only places left to go. And see what the game lets me do before going there, but. Got our Bomble Rocks and all. Goron City and the Rock Roast Quarry. We can explore those eventually. I'll just go right outside the city for now and close things out so I don't use up all of my energy and just die. So, all of this, all of this was stuff I explored today. It's nice. We covered a pretty big area. And there were some caves that I didn't go, in, didn't go into because I didn't get a bomb enemy yet. But I'll do that next time. Very, very fun. And in terms of quests, we did. Ooh. We found the horse. We found the cuckoos. Glided two times. And we made more recipes. So yeah, and of course we did the stuff in the Sanctuary, which gave me a lot less try energy than I expected, because well, I filled up his experience for this little bit. Hmm. So I guess it will be some time until we can actually use any of those crazy five rarity echo five energy echoes. Well then, more volcano next time. Yeah. So thank you very much, and oh, we got more stamp card stuff. Thank you very much, and so on, Reagan.